I got, got the, I got the needle. Oh, so you did it yourself? No, I ain't doing it myself. Well, somebody 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 did it you? Hey, it's at the end of the day. We got special guests in here. Brown bag pot. Hey. Yes, sure. You guys might know Rose Grant's big. <laughs> He's back. Y'all yeah, sorry. I know, look, I know why you guys left me on the flyer. I, I, know, I know why I was left off the flyer. Why? Because we wanted viewers, right? We wanted viewers. Oh, uh, your stupid ass That's got what I'm fired saying. from That's this shit. That's what I'm saying. How you get fired from this shit, bro? Hey. You'll know. You'll know Ready? soon. You'll know soon. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, T-Row. Hey, T-Row was cool. Oh. Damn, bro. They fired you, Gabe and Gina, but Gina got her job back. And Damn. a whole new Gina, show. Gina was never hired, but then she got hired like when we got fired. It was, it was a misdirection. So they was not fucking with you? No, not at all. My lady was pretty bad, though. Looking back, I, I don't like love it wasn't some episodes. That bad. It wasn't bad. We had our moments. It wasn't that bad. Bro, this is my homie. I know when it's bad. I'm saying it was like a baby no jumper show. That's what it was. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Man, so that, that was your kid. Was, it wasn't. That shit it wasn't was for weak, th- <laughs> <laughs> That shit was bad. It wasn't for the platform. It's because nah. when things start off, like, so has you met lately? When it's it's too cringe because it's too so it was bad. Tied Letty. together. Let me know that it was bad. They wasn't, they wasn't messy. You know what I'm saying? No, they were good. Wait, so who was on the platform at the moment? It was the No Jumper so Bro, at the, you end end the day, at the end of the day, and man, lately started the same day. Gino was a star, though. Facts. Yeah, oh, definitely. So what's safe? <laughs> wait, like that. wait, so what's safe at the end of the day? I think T-Rell's not a fan of Gina, that's why. My bad. Nah, I don't fuck with Gina either. <laughs> wait, don't, don't do that. She's going to tweet about you again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody tweet about me, man. Hey, hey, you, just, no. you just be starting stuff, yeah, Everybody man. be starting stuff. She be starting oh, stuff, stuff, too. Stuff, oh. Stuff. oh. You got Letty over here. Y'all want to play? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, everybody be starting stuff with me. Oh, yeah, Letty definitely And you, and you was... never take up for me. Why you didn't take up for me when she threw a Damn. joke at me? That, that, was, that was cold, That too. was cold. Look. Oh, we're going to start there. We yeah, start there. Right. Yeah. Nah, nah, he he couldn't sleep. You got your little big head home girl over here. Oh, you know what I'm saying? She gonna though. come over here. Like she gonna try to crack a joke look, on me. Cause look, when she did it, at first I thought she generally didn't know, but she played it all like she didn't yeah. know. She said handball. Yeah, I know. Oh. How we gonna play handball? This ain't no handball team, with bro. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Look, a tetherball team. No, I love, I love, I love I'm you. I'm not know, playing man. tennis, ping pong, nothing. You know, I'm I, choosing you. He has, he has a left more, hand. It works. More people got offended for me. Yeah. Oh, I think they don't hey, understand hey, the hey, relationship. That's hey, like, hey, the dynamic. I was the group chat. Oh, my God. That's only allowed on no jumper? Yeah. He was definitely mad for you for I'm no like, reason. What? But yeah. I was just, I was Y'all just, know and me I was though. just, but I was just explaining. I was mad, I was mad though. But look, <laughs> I was like, everybody be picking on my homie. Okay. No, I, <laughs> he can't Shut defend up. himself. But I was just explaining when people do me like that, and you know what I'm saying? I'm a good judge of character. I said, when people do shit like that, they feel like in touch with me, they feel in tune with me, they feel like they close with me, yeah. and they really fuck with me. So yeah. to even even to reach out and do that, it's like, damn, I really fuck with that nigga. Made me shut your soft ass up. You was crying. Man, fuck no. out of here. Was like, like, no, 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 no. Adam was the one that was like, oh, so right. we're letting joke fly another podcast now. <laughs> I'm like, shut the fuck up, you fuck. And, <laughs> but after that day, I was kind of like, nah, T Rose doesn't give a fuck. But then after what happened these last couple weeks in the office, I just I just now know we can't make jokes here. So let's just, let's just be because motherfuckers be going on other Twitch channels oh, and being no. hella soft and it's just crazy. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. For, hey. for the record, it's love and it wouldn't have happened had you not made like a comment about me previously. Oh, so and he I started get, it. I get tagged. Letty, 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 yeah, what yeah. do you say? You always starting something. So to me, it's like, oh, then then it's fair game, no, right? No. So then we're going to for tag. See, he acting, he and acting like go. you just I'm bullying him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, not like out of nowhere. I'm real. like, no. like yeah, let's go play cool. handball. <laughs> no, but that's like me, that's like me talking about Blazzy. All I said was she don't be saying, you know, she well, don't be taking up for, I said she don't take up for female rap and she go say an arm joke. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just, that wasn't the same no, she, shit. Hey, now she called me. She's like, I do talk about Lady of Rage. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you, Yeah. <laughs> hey, like, so, you was, was mad? Yeah, it's just to me. <laughs> to me, it means something when you say that I don't stick up for because it's what I stand behind. Like, I'm a hip hop head. I'm a lyricist. I'm a, I'm a big fan of lyricism. So when you went in, like, why don't more people speak up on Lady of Rage? Like, I'm talking about Letty's in radio. And it's like, damn, bro, do you know that I don't, though? Or are you just assuming that I don't? I mean, you she know? Didn't talk so to you me. Always, went, so then, you always started stuff. Let her finish. So then, her, so then it came up 
<laughs> what was what was even the the back and forth? No, that you had, no, no, you no, are very wait, wait, calculated. Wait, 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 hold on, let her talk. Let her yeah. talk. So the problem about having two podcasts. And, and I mean, from different platforms, is that you guys always tend to bring each other one up. So you yeah, guys yeah. make me put me in the middle. Yeah. So they were like, like if you were to, so they were like, <laughs> so they're like, if you were to play, you were to play sports. What sports do we play? I'm like, well, look, some of them are jumper teams, some of them are athletic. Hey, he's not really a sports guy. Mm-hmm. Chirel only got one hand, but this is in my head, right? And Letty goes like, oh yeah, well we should play them in handball. Yeah. <laughs> Very calculated. <laughs> <laughs> very smart. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It's cool. I it mean, was cool. I fuck with y'all, yeah. man. You gotta stop playing victim, man. I gotta. I ain't beef, playing victim. Your beef now. I gotta like check. Yeah, see, check like where first. the real origin is from. Yeah, it's, oh, it's not people me. just picking on T. Real just to pick well, on. You're them. definitely a, like. You definitely play the victim in a lot of things. Yeah. Man, fuck brown bag. Yeah. I ain't fucking. <laughs> 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 before we before we even got on this motherfucking big set, what's the difference between Duno on here and Duno that on was Brown me. Bag? Oh, sorry. Did you did you did it it I try to give my boy some credit because oh, okay, he looking lonely over it. here. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, what, know. what do you think you the did difference? Exactly is? What you did, man, lately? He's just sitting there. It's all good. Yeah. What, what's the difference? I was out there with a big ass computer. Yeah, that was one thing I didn't like the computers. Dumbass ta- laptop, like you just was <laughs> googling mad shit on that motherfucker. We we try to take it like you know a little serious. It was a little too serious. Okay. In, in retrospect, like for what? Why not just it, come on here? Why not just come on here have fun? That should have been like the original goal. Shit, when you were on there, you got hella drunk, huh? Every day. So so what's the difference? What y'all think is the difference between doing? I know it's, here it's, it's, and doing for, all... it's very simple. What is when it? I'm here, I'm like at the block. Okay. Kicking it with the homies. They're both equally family. Love okay. them both to death. But when I'm there, Liar! <laughs> but when I'm there, it's kind of more like I'm chilling. I'm kicking it with like brother and sister at the house. But when I'm with you guys, it's like I'm with the homies, but at the block, but y'all still my brother. So it's too different. Like, you feel me? Like, and that one is a little more controlled environment. So you faking. No, what do you mean? It's like being at the block. So you, you playing smart over there. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's playing smart. I think I think I definitely stutter per- over there too. Perfect example <laughs> is is uh he got in a fight in front of a Buffalo Wild Wings, right? A few few months ago, whatever. And then he he Doom was boom. like he was like, should we talk about it? And then I was like, nah, let's not talk about it. Cause like that shit could get out. Or there's a video out. And then like the difference is he came on a few days later and then showed the podcast and you guys reacted <laughs> to it on this one. Yeah, so you like- know what I'm saying? So I was like. I work. What's so you this? was mad. You was like, no, you I go, wasn't mad. You giving the white man views. No, no, no. I didn't no, care about I that. Didn't show it. <laughs> I just felt like I felt like that didn't really fit our platform. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a different world. All right. So, so, all right. What do you think? What is Brown Bag this all about? Have, what do you mean? What's it all about? He said. He said the fights don't fit the platform. Honestly, honestly, it's more about the Latino community. 100. percent Like we we talk about a lot of shit that's going on. So we have a whole topic. I mean, a whole topic where we talk about like. Cheez me that's going on in like the Latino communities with like different like artists like Carol G, Bad Bunny, and shit like that. Like, bro, we talk about that here, it's not gonna make fucking sense. Yeah. Like when I'm here. Yes, it will. Fuck, tell me one thing about Carol G. It's, it's, it's a great person. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys cover the uh I Caramba shit on Brown yeah. Bad? Yeah, we did. Well, actually, like I I remember when it dropped, I hit the group chat and I was like, Let's start a petition to make sure Tiger never tries to do some Spaniard shit ever again. And that was just some shit between us. And like, oh, we got to talk about it. Uh-huh. You know, the thing with us is we record Monday, but we don't drop till Friday. So his song mm. dropped on a Friday. We talked about it Monday, but it didn't drop till the next Friday. By that time, people were already with their think pieces, talking shit about Duno for not saying anything or for making <laughs> it about Latinos going at Latinos, not knowing we had already addressed it, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so how so- did y'all feel about like, really, though? I caramba. I felt yeah. really, really <laughs> crazy. Nah, we just didn't fuck with it, but yeah. what I'm saying is people saw it late, so they thought we reacted yeah, yeah. when the heat was on us. When we reacted before that, we just dropped later during the day. I mean, during the week. Yeah, it was weird. People were mad at us. It's like two people, there was like two different sides. Some people were saying we didn't go hard enough at Tyga and saying, calling him a racist. I'm like, bro, I don't think Tyga's racist. You know what I'm saying? Like, I genuinely don't. And there was other people that were like, oh, like, um, why don't you guys do this? And I was like, bro, what do you guys want? You're not going to make everybody happy. Nah, you know no, matter, no matter what. No yeah. matter what. That song trash. That, that song racist Fact. as fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that shit we got. Nah, it ain't racist. I mean, I mean the song is, the, shit, the video, the whole little shit, the whole little depiction. It's, it's ignorant not for sure, but. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is ignorant. Yeah. Whatever. That shit not Well, he came and he apologized. What, today, right? Yeah, today. LA Leakers, yeah, yeah, huh? Oh, he had the boy on. Yeah. I, 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 I heard him. He said, um... One thing was he was like, well, if you feel that way, man, take the video down. I'm trying to see mm. whether or not 
It has I wonder been. if he's gonna take the video down. I want to see. I want to see the response yeah. to that. See, but there's different people that are gonna be adults about it. Like I had a, 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 a guy interviewed the homie Bozo, which comes out on Shout Friday, out to Bozo, man. and he and he felt some type of way. But his take was different than that than a lot of people's take, and it's like. That's where the homie stands. That's where the homie stands. You know what I mean? Like, he comes from a whole different world than a lot of people do. So if the homie feels that way about Tiger, then, hey, bro, I mean, shit, you picked your battles, dog. You picked yeah. and choose. You know what I mean? I do so feel got- like Tiger's getting on, like, a more comedic route, though. And, I, and he really wants to dress up. Like, he did the thing with, with YG, and he did this. Like, be more digger. Go 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 that route, bro. If you want to dress up, just say that. Oh, I'm knocking like, over come waters. On. Come on, man. I love that you said that. that just go, go that route. You just like be, everything negative towards yeah. him. Just be Medea. I don't know. Just like, do that. You feel me? I let you fuck with it. Back in the day when when, when Tiger was popping, do you? I remember T. Rail. Yeah. You remember T. Rail? Was he a piece of shit? No, he's a great guy. He's a great dude. He would always come. Not no more. <laughs> He's just starting shit all over the you place. You better man. stop. Because I'm really <laughs> proud of just you guys knowing your come up and knowing from like when I saw you guys when I first worked at Power. I saw oh, what shit. it is. I saw what it takes to be here right here. I'm right. a very like nurturing mom vibe. So when I'm looking at you guys, I'm proud that this is happening. And I know that's not the vibe of this, but that's the vibe he gets at Brown Bag. It's literally like coming home to mom and like you can't talk about the fights that you had, but he's going to tell the homies. But like, I want to fix I, I, his I, mic I, I, so I bad right that. now because he's not talking in it right. Look at how he got it. Look at how he got it. Mama. 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 Oh, I get it. This baby Adam. She baby Adam. Yeah. Adam don't be babying him. No, I'm talking about oh, well, as far as perfection baby. and yeah. podcasting no, and baby. making sure your shit is good oh. and straight. Don't be talking oh. to see each other. She's that def- everybody oh, for sure. She's perfectionist. Dead. She's like, on her shit. Sure. She has topics like, all right, so you know how when we like interrupt this shit and you know how Adam will fucking throw a fitter in the group chat? Letty will definitely hit it after like, we can't do this and shit like that. But she also sometimes fucks up herself. Like, just like, oh, Adam, you fucking up. So yeah, definitely like that. Like they're definitely like Adam. for the definitely. <laughs> <the actions. laughs> so, so how do y'all feel about the success that y'all 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 getting right now from Brown Bag? It's dope. It's, it's super dope for me, especially you know after a failure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they said hey. my nigga, he's sinking. It's gone. It's Look, done. Don't I jumped do off it. one ship, got another one. That shit took off to the moon. You no, know what I mean? No, yeah. but like, that shit was funny when we were filming Brown Bag. Fucking when they Matt lately in episode what? Thirty nine. Thirty seven. Oh wait, which wait? What do you mean? Matt lately. When did it end? Thirty nine. Oh, so so we're getting close to 39. Shit. He, he was like, he's like, damn, bro, I hope we don't end this shit, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was so nervous. I was so nervous. He's like, I had bad juju. But why do you think at the end of the day last in Brown Bag did it? I mean, Brown Bag fucking, um, my lady did it. Damn, yeah. you shut your other shit yeah. down. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> no, nah, on some real shit, though, like, I, I tell niggas all the time. OT? That shit set us up. Yeah. The, the, definitely OT, the OT guys. moment. That's your rating. May, yeah, that, that's that shit made... Moment. That made, like, because before that, wasn't people, like, looking at other shit on the platform. So then, like, even when the shit went viral, they didn't say, like, at the end of the day, they, like, no No jumper. jumper. And they was tagging Adam. They, like, Adam made the, got a viral moment. Mm. But then that shit started shedding light on the show. But then once, bro, after that shit happened, then it started going downhill. (laughs) You feel me? We was looking for a replacement. Yeah. Pun, pun was like, hey man, we, hey, well, let's try out T Rail. Me and T Rail did it one time, pause. And then I was like, you keep them, you feel me? I said, we keep them. Then I seen you, and I was like, hey, do no funny as fuck. And Adam was like, I'm thinking about having on a platform. I was like, nah, nigga, he's staying with us. And then he was like, I don't know. I was like, nah. Like, yeah, bro, man, I don't wasn't having it. With, yeah, that's true. Nah, nah, nah. That's but you true. shot the shit with House Phone. Yeah, I shot the shit with House Phone. How did you think that would have went? You think it would have lasted this long? Fucking Josh said that he didn't like it. Yeah, they, they said the pilot sucked. Yeah, that's it. No, what? This is what Josh said. This Josh is worth half of not mine. He was like, Hoffman wasn't in the right place at the moment. So he was that's like, real shit though. and then he was like, you were focused. He's like, you killed it, but he was off. So he, so even if you guys would have tried it, he's like, bro, you got to think about it. After that, he missed how many no jumper episodes? He's like, bro, you would have had a show with no calls. Yeah, by so. And I was like, damn. That's well, that's true. that's kind of what at the end of the day was about to be like. Do you, you guys ever saying? try Vic? What for what? Her. Nah, he ain't finna get tried nah. now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. Vic would have quit a long time ago. No. He would have quit. Oh, All the yeah. shit that be going on right here, that shit nah, too wild. This shit too messy yeah. over here. That shit be messy. I mean, y'all finna do the L Ray. That's like super crazy. Like, how, well, like, what's the difference between, let this is for you, what's the difference between radio right now and um, a podcasting? 
you know, you can you can listen and watch a podcast whenever you want, right? If you're not literally listening to the radio at that exact moment, you miss it. And radio breaks, I always felt like, dang, it's like we work so hard to create a break, but it's literally gone as soon as we create it, unless we're recording it or unless we're posting it ourselves, right? Uh, I think with podcasts, we, we're blessed to be able to have this stick around for a long time. And people get to it when they have a chance. And because they can keep replaying it, it's like it's like a movie you like or like a song you like. You can play it when it's on demand. Is this, your, is this your learn term, uh, your long-term goal, just podcasting? Yeah. Radio's still my dream. Like, I'm a radio baby. Like, that's what I've always loved, and that's why I'm pursuing that. But I can't have, like, my dream is not necessarily their guy, their dream, you know? Our dream as a podcast is to really make it as the biggest Latino podcast that you can ever do. Like, let's Fire. see what those heights are, right? Like, even selling out the L-Ray, right? What does that mean now, like, when we get our own deal and we become millionaires off a podcast? I'm still going to do radio because I love it. You know, you guys still do your your the other stuff that you do besides this podcast because you love that. Uh, I just think that that's our our bigger vision is becoming the biggest Latino podcast that we can. On your yeah. side, do you ever get nervous? Because I see a lot of radio hosts yeah. like, and this shit is kind of getting old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of people quitting. It's a lot of people yeah. getting fired. And they moving on, along over to podcasts mm -hmm. because this is like where, you know, the longevity lives now. You know, and everybody is changing. Yeah. Like, So you think you ever like, you know, they'll, they'll do you like that kind of like in radio? It's wild because you kind of, with radio, you have to just, you just have to be okay with it being toxic. Like radio is gonna be toxic. Shitty pay for the most, doing the most work for the smallest title, right? But you're doing five people's jobs. You have to be okay with that. You genuinely have to care about that. With podcasting, it's ours. There's something about owning. There's something about like, I get to pick and for how long and who my audience is. So essentially, and this is something I learned from Charlemagne, the radio helps you get that like, that fix in. But this is where you get to, like, f really blossom. And you saw that with, like, what he did with Brilliant Idiots and stuff. But he still has his morning show. So mm -hmm. that's kind of, like, the blueprint I'm taking. Even mm. even that, that's why I kind of feel like Mad Lately was more suited for radio. Mm. You know what I mean? Because, like, podcast is a little more unfiltered. Of oh, course, yeah. you can curse. You can do all that. But when you listen to radio, there's not a lot of personalities yeah. that be, like, super sticking out. Like, Big mm -hmm. Boy is authentic. You know what I mean? Like, I remember just waking up, you phone tap, oh, yeah. 6 o'clock in the morning. That was the most, you know what I'm saying, entertaining shit. That's crazy it's, as fuck. Bro, it's, but that's but it's not too much shit like that nope. anymore. So when you listen to radio, man, I feel like a lot of times the soul be out of that shit. Mm -hmm. And then when you come to do a podcast, you do some shit like this, you get to be yourself. That's you. Ain't no real pressure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, this shit fun. What shit he pay? <laughs> what do you get paid here? Uh, <laughs> I get paid. I get paid a lot. I think I get, but I just want to know, like, what's shitty? It's always shittier for the girls too. So maybe I should be asking Gina. Damn, you feel like that? Hell really? yeah! I could do. I literally, they, you can ask them, who the workhorse is, who's the planner, who's the this and who's the that. But we still equal partners. <laughs> Whoa! So you doing more work than yeah? Them. But it's not to complain. I just feel like I'm a mom. Like, I can complain that no one helps me, but at the same time, when you try to help me, I'm be like, no, I got it. Hold on. Definitely like Who's the weak link? Vic. <laughs> <laughs> it was my idea. <laughs> Jesus, I was like, they're going to kick you out of this shit, too. <laughs> no, no, but I, think, I think, Yeah, but I do think, like, that's what's dope, though. But I think it does come, like, even the shit with what she was saying about Charlotte, like, Letty gets plugged from the radio and then put, like, the brown bag, and then we get connected, and we meet people. It's not like she's eating by herself over there and then just comes here, and, like, whatever we have here is what we have here. Like, you know, it's both tapped in. Like, when I meet people here, sometimes I'll be like, hey, I got this Latino shit cracking, and they be like, oh, that's dope, because everybody... Bro, people know, Latinos buy tickets. But I, oh, yeah, I like... Of I like, yeah. <laughs> but, like, but LA Every is show. Latino culture. Shout out G. Perico, shout really? out RJ for always embracing Yeah, Facts. a lot. Right man, way. Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah. The right way. The right way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... We are, we embracing y'all too. Hold yeah. On. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can miss him too. We can go all day. We can go two hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying we can get Tiger cracking. Tiger gonna fuck you up when you see me. <laughs> Ain't no love lost, but we can we can yeah. do that too. But, <laughs> but hey, I, like, I mean, the fuck up. man, Latinos is Los Angeles culture. There's no way we can fucking get around it. You know what I'm saying? But still, it be people 
um still kind of upset about how los angeles is represented and who representing uh los angeles so this is for you because you got into it with this young man on twitter yeah. Dijon, i think his yeah. name was you feel what me what you mean yeah. you think you interviewed the nigga i know but i didn't talk about that with him you yeah. feel me so he was just, like a messy, I told you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, he learned, hey, he learned he Adam. He, he, oh, he messy though. as hell now. I fuck with that. He did his research. I fuck with that. I mean, but yeah, he was just talking about, you know, who's representing Los Angeles, and he was, didn't like uh, who was representing Los Angeles. Yeah. And he said too many Latinos is not rep you know, representing Los Angeles and no blacks are, you feel yeah. me? And you had a lot to say about that, you feel me? How yeah, I mean, when I set out in this, like, 2014, I didn't even think about being a Latino in this space. I love rap music. And that, didn't, that thought didn't even cross my mind until one day me and Cypress were doing an interview with Vice and they were like, how do you guys feel about being the only Latinos in the L.A. music space? And I'm like, what? Me and, me, literally me and Cypress looked at each other like, I've never even thought about that before. But it didn't matter until we got to positions of power. That's when people started getting upset, I feel like. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, to like, it was like all of a sudden I'm like a gatekeeper, which I've never called myself. But it's like he viewed me as that. Um, in regards to Dijon, and then it was like, I don't like that you're up at, up here, and I'm here, even though he just started. Well, it's, it's and then it's not a lot of African Americans in yeah. in, uh, in the radio in Los Angeles, California. So, yeah. man, how do you feel about that? I mean, there should be more. I've always said that. Everybody, I feel like everybody feels the same way about that. Do you feel like they're doing that shit like purposely? In what? In, radio? in a way, yeah, radio. Okay, so I do, I do. Cause I heard a, I heard that dude too. I, mean, yeah. I don't like selective morality in any way, shape, or form. I don't like that if it's a certain way, then I feel a way about it. But if someone else does it, I'm okay. Because I don't. I I, I remember seeing a post that he had, and he posted the people that are in LA radio, and he posted like a sour milk, a just incredible, um, Latinos, right? Homies do. Yeah, but head is there, and Chuck is there, and that's not fair to them. Because you're doing the exact same thing you're trying to claim we're doing. You're erasing the black voices and the black faces that are actually there. Big is not on, that, on those graphics. You know, we actually do, like, this girl does news with me in the morning. Her name is Demi. Javen. Nick Cannon. Like, it's there. Like, K-Day has, has Romeo. Like, that's unfair to them. Brianna does our midday show. Shout out to mm -hmm. Brianna. Shout She's Brianna. incredible. She's hustling out here. And she's, La she's Afro-Latina, but she claims both what pride. That's unfair to them. You know what I'm saying? And yes, we can have that fight, and we'll be right there with you. But don't try to, like, it feels like race baiting. Because it, is, it, is it real, or is it just the narrative you're pushing? Yeah, you know, kind of probably trying to put yourself in position, too, yeah. man. It's always a, a L.A. motherfucker fighting another L.A. Yeah. motherfucker. And our politics is just super stupid. And then maybe me? they want to be included, and to them... If they're not included, that means you're not including black people. Right. Yeah. But then that's also riding a wave or riding a, a movement versus like it actually being the honest truth, you know, and actually saying like, hey, let, let me have a space in this. You're yeah. making you're pulling cards that you maybe you shouldn't be. Yeah, and that's a lot that's of people in Los Angeles that. too. That's a lot of, and I'm glad y'all touched on yeah. that because a lot of people out here be want to know from the real people yeah. at the station. You know what I'm saying? And you a real like a staple out yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? Your voice is a real staple, so they wouldn't probably get that on the radio. You know what I'm saying? The podcast, you yeah. would get that here, so people for, for fucking understand that yeah. shit. You feel me? Especially for niggas like that. That's kind of doing a little thing. You know, on a on a lower level, but still. And it know? does take it does take learning, and I'm assuming he's younger, right? It does take learning. Learning, but while you're doing that learning there's so many people ready to jump ready to want to just choose a side and just to like validate their hate and that's why i don't like it either on some latino shit sometimes like the icaramba stuff with taiga not for nothing but some people made it allow them to be hateful towards black people and it's like just because he fucked up don't mean y'all gotta be turning out racist all in these comments mm -hmm. that shit was already there you're just looking for a moment to be that way right it goes on both ends and it can't again it can't be selective if i if i really stand behind something i gotta stand behind it to everybody that does it you know i it's just it one doesn't it's kind of like cheating low-key like it's like when dudes are like oh she fought with me so i could go cheat on her it's like no you can't bro we just yeah. fought. Yes, I'm, I got. It's stupid that I got mad at you because you didn't wash the dishes. But I don't mean it's okay. You could cheat on me after. 
With, with the so, tiger shit, with, with the tiger shit too. <laughs> Sorry. AD, AD I don't need to make it about that. Like. <laughs> nah. Nah, nah. Yeah, bro. You going throw? You only post to the person, the gifts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, but well, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now we want to get on. We wasn't invited to y'all fucking L Ray wow. show. You know what I'm saying? Dude, and that's not the tight. Bro, there's more food. Know? So hold up, bro. That's you didn't invite cool. nobody. Damn. First of all, and he wasn't like promoting it on win. And like, he ignored it when. Adam said it. Yeah, and it was just like super he weird. Like, he's we doing this like, because come he, on, hey, bro, come on, bro, Duno, how bro. could you? We like, like them. Come on, no, bro. They're, they're, they let me into the show. They're both full See? of shit. Yeah, he was there. Yeah. They're both full of shit. <laughs> They're both full of shit. You was bro, not promoting you say nothing. We promote everything here, dog. So I can't promote it. It's sold out. What you mean? It's so, so <laughs> what, uh, what are we doing right now? What are we doing right shit now? On us. It was, yeah, like, in what day? I'm just, no. Uh, what, two days, two days, two days. In, in two days, like in, three in months days. ago. And none of you guys reposted. Do I have to ask for a repost? What? What? You didn't even tell me nothing about you it. You didn't tell us nothing. This nigga Adam. I like, do a whole nother show with you, bro. You didn't say, we filming, we eating. You didn't say nothing. Like, we got a show coming up. I. Bro, <laughs> to the fans, I, I swear to God, to the fans, I definitely brought up the fact that we sold out our rent. You probably said some shit like, that shit's not even on fuck. your page nowhere. <laughs> it's sold out. <laughs> so what? It's sold you out. didn't even promote it. I did promote it. You can't do this shit on the brown back. That's why I'm doing this shit. I'm getting loud with you. I'm trying to see how let you do not fuck with you. I'm like, like no. No, her chair is a whole nother yeah. motherfucking way. I don't way. want. I don't want you to. from the back to the left. Tell the truth, Letty. Letty didn't want T. Rowe to come. Letty didn't want to come. No, you know I think what it is. If T. Rowe and Letty were to sit down, I think that'll be a. I, I think that'll we be a dope ass interview. Though. No, no, I'm talking about interview wise. Oh. You're. They both have like the conversations will be crazy because I feel like Letty's. Like I think I, I think now that she's into the podcast, she gonna talk to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, let, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, this motherfucker, gonna talk to bro. Me. So maybe you gotta set up the interview with Letty. I mean, if maybe we to. invited to the L Ray. You're invited. <laughs> you're on my list. Yeah, we're already on the list. Or the handball competition. <laughs> oh, I'm on your oh. team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on your team. Oh. I can play handball. I'm going up against her. Yeah. Oh. I can't play it. Y'all got any openers? Vic. What? Wait, for the array? For the oh, array? No. Oh, yeah, for the array. Oh, no. oh a DJ. Two D. I thought, like, yeah. Shout out to DJ. Two D. He, to yeah, two D. He found oh, it. Reggaetonlandia. It's yeah. big out here in the Latino space. How long is it set? <laughs> An hour and a half? An hour and a half? Why you want to come out and rap? <laughs> 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 Fuck y'all, nigga. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, because we did like four hours. Nigga, that shit was long as fuck. Yeah, there was like a hundred of you, though. But see, you got to think about it. It was a lot Four hours divided by four shows. We yeah. gotta do the exact the exact amount of time with just fucking us three. So we man, we gotta think of so much shit to talk about. Yeah. We're like, oh fuck, we're debating. Y'all ain't nervous? No. What shit we did it before? Remember when we first yeah. um fucking planned the array? I told you that we did like a mini show. Mm -hmm. Um, it was like 120 people, and that was dope. But it was definitely it's different podcasting when there's somebody looking at you like this. Yeah. And it's like, damn, am I funny? Am I not funny? It's kind of like doing stand up comedy, just. But they're drunk. You just gotta play to the crowd. Yeah, definitely. And gotta the, play it's to the girls. Crowd. It's Latinas. They're gonna have fun. Yeah, but all our fans yeah. are mostly girls. So what if they start taking their titties out and shit? Like, <laughs> 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 oh, <good>. <laughs> <laughs> I can rumba. <laughs> how how how? Hey, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they both full of shit. They both gonna be with their wives like this. <laughs> yeah, are you married? I knew it. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. Well, hey, don't shake his hand. He trying to set you up. Oh, yeah, yeah. He yeah. always do that. Yeah. <laughs> he always do that. I saved your hey, life. Hey, Tyrell, real Thank one. You, no, look, but see, this is a different look. Tyrell hit me up like, yeah, bro, I'm going to pull up and I'm like, bad. And he sent me his and Heather's name. He only sent me his. <laughs> Damn. Wow. So you're going to know. This nigga did this every week, bro. Look. I'm trying to save you. Way. Way. You don't like me. He brought it back. Oh, <laughs> damn. Can you talk about his girl? She been Whoa. in my house. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, what's her name, Letty? What? Well, fool. Letty, tell us her name. I'm single. He calls her dumbass, but. Wow. Yeah, respectful that's the, to women. Yeah, what? that's her yeah, but she, yeah, it was never official. If it been, wasn't official, I would have posted it. He's been against her. me since his mom says I'm beautiful. <laughs> wow. How'd she say it? In Spanish? She was just like, no, because he had the thing about Bonnie and my mom. And I'm like, I, that's cool. And I'm like, that's cool. But you know, I was in a joking way. <laughs> what did she say? And she was like, he's, he's, he's good lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Oh. Mom said he's good looking. Woo! In a good way. 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so mom's trying to see what that shit. No, he, she's not trying to see that. She gonna uh, be at the show? Who? She'll be at the show. My mom? She was at our show. She was at our show. Yeah, I'm gonna wear my. I'm gonna wear my special cologne. <laughs> I'm wearing okay. my special cologne, the pheromones <laughs> just get all in the air. Yeah, but they gonna come in with a sombrero, just just walk in. No, nah, I'm not doing. That's racist. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, I ain't following the tiger. I ain't playing like that. <laughs> you, you, you ain't following the tiger agenda. Nah. <laughs> Tyrell isn't either. Nah, I ain't hey, doing hey. none of that. I'm on, I'm on the good side with my brown brothers, man. I always facts, have been. You facts. know what I'm saying? Man, how you be picking the topics for your show? We have a we have a group chat, but it's good. Like we segment our show, so we know like where to put what, right? So there's don't you know I'm local where it's just LA shit. So the Sixth Street Bridge stuff, or like when someone steals like a, a construction vehicle that they did last night, we'd have thrown that in there. We have this thing called cool or culo, because it's like is it cool or is it ass? So we'd pop up something, like a D shirt. Is it cool or is it culo? It's definitely cool. Yeah, it's cool. That shit hard as fuck. Yeah. It's culo. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Made by it's fun. It's easy once you know like what, Made by Swiss. Yeah. what the segments are. Yeah, that's tight. I mean, he don't get in no group chat with us. He don't give a fuck. He oh, don't make up no yeah, like he don't respond. No, I used to have topics and everything, and then they'd be like, that shit is stupid. I was like, fuck it. We're just gonna let this shit fly. Y'all don't be talking about like spicy shit like no jumper, like shit that be they going on. They ain't messy like you, nigga. Like, <laughs> no, we don't want to get spit spicy? on. What's spicy? Like, what's spicy? Like, like, like they ain't spit like, on the safety motherfuckers. Like, yeah, shit like, like that. Like, Charleston White, like, running up on Soldier Boy or in Mason him. Oh, nah, nah. We, we don't really. Hey, talk I ain't about gonna that. lie. I seen the shit he did when he was praying to God. I said, oh, this motherfucker <laughs> signed a death wish, bro. <laughs> He's crazy. Oh, Charleston White. No, he didn't. Nuts. He didn't say more wilder shit than that. He said some wild shit. No, that I, I if I know the other wild shit he said. Bro, about like, gotta, about like he said that back in the day. You gotta think about they used it, bro. to like rape white women in the south. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? People, people really don't care. They get outraged by what's being said, but who's really gonna go out their way to do something in 2022? It's not a lot of people. Man, y'all better leave Charleston White alone. For nah, he's, I feel like he's playing a different game, bro. Nah, like he's, he's on the police again. side. Like he's not afraid. Like he's literally said, "I'm not afraid." To f said all. Uh, I sue people like he's he's playing that different game. You can't even like fuck with somebody like that. I feel like you know what I'm saying. So so who idea was that six uh, street bridge shit? Let this. That was let this. Cause idea. that shit shut down now. You seen that? No. It's all her fault. They said that shit uh, shut down. Okay, Cause y'all did a podcast. Oh gosh. <laughs> wow. The cops came and they were just like, "Hey, what's up, guys? It's not illegal to film out there. It's illegal to do donuts and all and crash yeah. and yeah. and fight you out know, there." But we did. Doing that. My motherfuckers went up there. Yeah. To like the fucking the bridge thing and if I want to go smoke a blunt. Yeah, they're curfewing it because they opened it right back up at five. But that post that it shut down was from last night and everyone's just sharing it. And then we got hella comments. At first, yeah. everybody was like, that's cool. You guys did that. Guys and then like two hours later, we're like, it's your guys' fault. You guys don't respect Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, it's all our fault. Uh, look at it closely. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get the obsession of like going to go see the bridge. You know what it is? Go dude. and you'll get it. The no, 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 no. <laughs> a bridge is a bridge. No, it's good. Go. The bridge is fire. For what's something monumental and Compton that you think people think is stupid, but you think is the shit? The court building. The court building, like a dumbass, <laughs> like an idiot, right? Hey, shit, Golden Eagle. Niggas don't like the court building. Tams, hey, Tams. Hey, yeah. No, we, 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 Tams the other side. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. eat over there growing up. <laughs> we Golden Eagle, you know what I'm saying? Tams Burger, uh, fucking shit. They 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 closed down that Compton Swap Meet, boy. It's over. I used to live right there too. That's scary as a motherfucker. I used to go to that motherfucker every day. Didn't they make it a Walmart? It's Walmart now. They, they made that shit a Walmart. What the Compton That's Swap Meet? Yeah. Compton Swap Meet, yeah. That's even worse. Yeah. That's even worse. Shit, that's that's the that shit been going for like what five years now? Yeah. Something like that. Long time. Damn, that's even Damn. worse, dog. No, yeah, think about it. That bridge used to be like borderline of East LA, downtown LA. So it was very monumental for like people that were like. The first fucking Latino, Chicano Americans that came here. Oh, I don't know. That. Everybody Bro, shoots of, movies on there, music videos. They do. Even, like even below, yeah, even with the train tracks and shit. All that shit. Well, you know, um, fuck, what's that show called about um for Mr. Cartoon and the stuff? Oh yeah, you? that Netflix show, the um, LA, LA Originals. The LA Originals. So a lot of the pictures that he took were under the bridge or on the bridge. And it was a lot of. It seems somebody. like a lot of just LA like culture. Latino culture revolved around that bridge, and then they shut it down. Now it's back up, and now it's like new and improved. Hey, since y'all love music so much, you know, I just want to ask y'all about the new school rappers. Uh, who do you like more, uh, the OTM or? Um, Bro, stop being messy, baby. Man. You, you guys are fucking interviews. 
I just want uh, to ask I, I, yeah, I, um, this nigga, man. Personally, I'm like, messy. I don't who, give a fuck who I am. <laughs> you think? Talk your shit, T-Rail. You know you talk your shit, Groove. <laughs> talk your shit, Groove. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not on no radio. You yeah. can't censor me. And yes, I do be instigating, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I do you it. guys were coming at my head. He he starts it. He, he do starts it. it. Just, no, but I just want to ask a simple question because hey, they asked me shit, that shit. Yeah, Groove, talk he your shit. You when, it, when it comes to like what I listen to more, I listen to Baby Stones more. Uh-huh. But I already have plans of like booking a show OTM. You know what I'm saying? I respect yeah. their movement. Ralphie killing it. You know what I'm saying? So like I would just personally, I just listen to Baby Stones more. Just that's just me. And I'm asking the opinion because they really be on their music shit because it's 50-50 for me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't never really, even though I did do an interview with both of them, yeah. I can't really tell both of them, like, I like you better or I like you mm-hmm. better because I thought you didn't care. I think, I think it's, care. it's, it's I a little I early for OTM. I don't care about OTM. niggas saying I, I'm trying to start shit or I'm messy or anything like yeah. that. Like, I don't give a messy. fuck. Yes, no, it's, 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 you know, it's a, you know, it be niggas out here in the comments mm-hmm. already, you know, talking. Who do you about like better? Yeah, yeah, just who do I listen yeah, to? Yeah, yeah. whatever. Who, um, honestly, I listen to Baby Stone. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But Ralphie hard. Yeah, I you know, listen to Ralphie shit. That you know old yeah. Ralphie versus new Ralphie yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah, that's shit stupid. is hard. That's stupid. I love that it. shit is hard. But see, but uh, and that's one thing that people don't give Vic a lot of credit for. Before he got here, like, bro, this nigga really was throwing shows back to back in L.A. Man, like. Yeah. Bro, I didn't went to this nigga's studio with my son, bro. Facts. Like, you feel when me? We did, when we did the album. Yes, yeah, bro. The Rose shit, album. Facts. But, like, I don't think people, like, give you enough credit yeah. of what you do. And, you know what I mean? They see Matt lately and be like, ah, he's he's a loser. Like, nah, yeah. the nigga ain't no loser. He been doing this shit for a while. Yeah. Real shit. We're both under Duno, according to the people that even watch us. Like, they don't need... even carrying the load? Even our, resu- <laughs> no, no, even our resumes, yeah. people will be like, oh, they're only hot because of Duno. It's like, I'm a, I am fucking tore with J. Cole. Like, I really d- did this shit. I ain't gonna you know? Well, he's Latino but, Jesus, I, yeah, I promise I'm ta- you. I'm, I know it. Yeah. Hey, he's, I'm, he's, I'm his so mother Mary. Nah, nah, but you know what's all about Letty? Because, well, 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 like... Oh, so Letty be jealous? No, nah, she don't be jealous. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, but she be like... No, because one time she was like... She like, nah, I can't judge my homie. And I'm like, you right? She's like, yeah, she and I talked with J. Cole. And I'm like, damn. Bitch. We be, I'll be like, yeah. and we, we, we be pressuring her to call her famous friends. Yeah, like, yeah, can like, you call J. Cole real quick? Like, yeah, you, she you called Dom one time, though. That was fire. Oh, yeah, she uh, called Dom. Yeah, he almost cried. Yeah. Yeah. I introduced yeah, you to Dom. Cry. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> he did on the phone. When we, when we went to Vegas, everybody was just taking pictures of him. You know, I just felt like stupid. Hey, no, that nigga, bro. <laughs> nah, they, <laughs> they, they see this nigga, they're like, like uh, oh my God. Bro, at the boxing fight, the Ryan Garcia fight, bro, as soon as we walked in, it's like, Everybody like the seas parted. Everybody turned around, just looked at Duno like, oh, like I can't believe he's here. Damn. That shit was insane. He <laughs> 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 be doing weak ass jokes, nigga. Nobody care about that shit. I'm so nigga. proud of my son, man. Fuck on you, God. Oh, yeah. our son, our son. Yeah. Oh, fuck all of our sons. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no R. <laughs> Her son, for I love sure. It. I love it, no, because Duno's dad's not around, so uh-huh. I like that he has uh-huh. yeah. multiple yes, dads. Yes, yes, he is. I love it. Yeah, he is. Uh-huh. Daddy. <laughs> Duno, mom, if you're looking right now, I step up to the plate, baby. <laughs> mom, you be giving him extra hugs and shit. <laughs> you feel like he lead love. Oh yeah. He, he be crying. He be crying sometimes. Oh, Man, wow. fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker be crying. His dad left him, sent him a picture of a Camry. He was hot. <laughs> Your dad a crackhead. <laughs> so that's crazy because you can still see him. Like, you just passed no, by, no. you high. You can still see your dad, too. No, I know, but not high. Just passed by. <laughs> you. Hey, like, nah, that's fucked up. No, but see, look, for my dad's an excuse. Your dad doesn't have an excuse. He, he just don't. left. No, he do. He do, actually. He, what's the excuse? He, he's he like, my he, son missed he his he, hair. I ain't been his life. No, no, no. Yeah, look, fuck no. you. <laughs> no, look, no, look. The nigga said. For why did he leave? The nigga said, you know what? You know, I, I fought I fought in the Vietnam War. Get the fuck out of here. And, uh, and he said it, it was really fucking with his mental and his, and his mind. And he really couldn't really get together and fully, you know, lock in on, on family I believe shit. That. So, and I was like. Oh, he made this shit emotional. I'm not even, I'm not lying, cuz. Nah, it's a lot of people. You, I, a lot of people I, come I, back like no, shell and shit. If you watch Snowball, he told me that, that not, nigga Franklin dad. Was on some same shit. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I hated him for a minute. Like, and then he told me that. Even though he told me that, I still was like, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> but I had to go back and think about yeah, it. Like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, that shit probably like really was fucking with him. Then one day, one day, just recently, he was like, hey, bro, he was like, hey, bro, he was like, hey, he was like, hey, bro, happy Father's Day. And I was like, damn, this nigga told me happy Father's Day. Did you say it back? I definitely did. Did you cry? 
Hell no. <laughs> hey. Fuck but, yeah, other I mean, kids but I had a, a, me getting older made me realize that yeah. to you know be more sympathetic no, bro, towards that type of situation. That, 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 that shit do hit different because I remember yeah. my dad told me that one time and he was like, Man, you a better father than I ever was. Oh, I was like, damn. Yeah, because your dad a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> your dad's a piece of shit. <laughs> and hey, he looked like a very astute gentleman to me with the suit yeah. and shit. And I'm, and like, I'm, I'm like, that and guy's cool. What's going on I'm like, that guy's cool him? though. Like, yo. This nigga daddy crazy, bro. <laughs> hey, I'll, bro, I'll, I'll say nothing, man. Crazy, hey, I'll bro. say nothing. Hey, bro, that's definitely a fool, dog. That fool's a real life piece of shit, man. <laughs> Yeah. I know. I know. No, just tell her. Hey, everybody said they were saying silver spoon. I was like, all right. I be trying to tell him to talk know Spanish, but he won't. Now his his dad's a fucking. Tell her in Spanish, like, bitch. What? Tell her. What do you mean? If that's oh, okay, say I'll, Spanish, just, say Spanish. I'll say it in English. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what part? The. Uh, well, what makes him a piece of shit? A lot of things. <laughs> no, like, my pops is cool. Cuss. No, fuck, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pops is cool. I'm trying to figure out why though. Yeah. Um. Fuck, I'm gonna just send you guys the links on the on the, on the brown bag group chat. <laughs> oh, so this is the first time you're gonna be in the brown bag group chat, you know what I'm saying? Doing this thing. Bro, I reply, bro, one, I don't reply to the, the no jumper one is crazy. Why? Because, because it's either him arguing with Adam about a fucking post that they don't generally care about, he's just a fucking. Fool, you're oh, you fool, you're just so argumentative, dog, and I'm like, and this stupid white <laughs> motherfucker fought for the bait. Well, T-Rail? Every time. Every time. <laughs> Every time. So is that like your entertainment? Like you or yes. like, if, I'm, if I'm bored and he just <laughs> and he like send a link because he he want to debate about it. I'll just send I I'll just go opposite out what I know he's thinking. <laughs> and I'll just argue him down about some bullshit. You about know what some saying? bullshit. And it'll be for like an hour or two. I'll be out now. Like an hour. For I, used to, I used to sit there and argue. I don't do it no more. And big ass paragraphs. Like you. <laughs> if you only knew, you fucking idiotic. <laughs> 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 he starts weird. pulling out the big words. Oh, dude, I'm, a, I'm idiotic. For oh, yeah, sure. Adam, Adam almost fired this nigga too. I got fired like two, three times in the group. <laughs> you still just kept coming to work? to be here on the platform. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> hey, what did he tell you? What did he tell you? Fuck, you get kicked out the island? Yeah. We're going to kick you off the island. I was island. like, you don't need oh, to be off the island. Oh. I'm like, wow. ooh, he hot. You never got kicked out of the group chat though? Uh, no. I feel like that's no. more permanent than anything. Once it says, like, so-and-so has left the chat, that's like, oh. Damn, who did I... I kicked somebody out of the group chat. I kicked Yuri out of the group chat. Why? He, oh, that thing when he had with, uh... I'm so proud of you, Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did some shit with Casey Veggies or something. He got mad. And we was like, oh. oh. Yeah. I was like, oh, you's a bitch. Get this nigga up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but when I got him out of there, I was like, y'all can bring him back. Just yeah, whoever want to do it, just bring him back. Hurry yeah, up. Yeah, you're one of the most loyal people here. He got yeah, everybody yeah, he back. Tight. Ain't he about to set your shit up? Yeah, he back tight. on he tight. He tight. He tight. Yeah. yeah. yeah What's his back on the homie name? Man? Can y'all come on my podcast? Yeah. That you, that shit finna be messy like a motherfucker. Back <laughs> on Fig. What's your sign? I'm a Gemini. Mm. Oh yeah, crazy people. Yeah. This okay, motherfucker. I, I mean, unpack it, break it down. Well, yeah, you you just have that mentality, right? It has to be. You're smiley, but then you're not. I'm too Rhyme pot. me. Is. I've been saying yeah. it from day one. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> want to listen to me. I'm Tupac. You are. Dear mama. And then this nigga fucks a bitch yeah. in the clique you claim. <laughs> 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 nigga, I'm all that, but I'm I'm, I'm really serious. No, you Brenda's got a baby. You the I baby can't. in the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, bro. I found the baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the most fucked up shit you seen on Fig? The most fucked most up. fucked up shit. Damn, it's some fucked up shit go down on Fig, bro. Some fucked up shit. If he's just talking about prostitutes, like I seen young like girls, like oh shit, That's like sad. you shouldn't even be out here, like type shit, like. And then you know shit like oh, like I said on the one way niggas fucking on the one way and doing that and we kids niggas like yeah. ten years old like and they doing it way more crazy now I passed by and I was looking and I told Heather I'm like look at this shit I'm like shit they actually kind of pretty you know what I'm saying like <laughs> they ain't got on no clothes like this shit look crazy to me like it's super wild out there but ain't no like you know. Besides somebody getting shot or some shit like yeah. that, but other than that, like the the, the prostitute shit is. He used like to throw shit at prostitutes. And lemons, lemons. Fuck, while the prostitutes were giving head, he used to throw lemons at them. Yeah. While they were trying to make an honest living. That shit is not right. <laughs> did, did you ever like walk up to any of them and tell them they didn't have to do this? 
<laughs> Captain Sabo. He don't got to do this, it. baby. You know what I'm saying? Hell no, nigga. Just threw a lemon. Fuck him with a fucked him up. Where y'all from? Are you 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 from Los Angeles or you from yeah. Bellflower? Like, where? Yeah. From Los oh. Angeles? I think it's saying, yeah, Bellflower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. saying anything. Bellflower, right? Downey, Hawthorne. Yeah, Lennox. Yeah, I didn't where even you know from? all this bullshit. <laughs> that, that's, that's where the Rosecrans come from because I grew up in all those cities. Hawthorne, Lennox. I ain't gonna lie. When I first heard Bellflower. Rosecrans Vic, I thought you was a power rule. That's what then I seen you thought. was Hispanic. I was like, oh. <laughs> well, I guess. This guy could do business with What high yeah. school did you graduate from? Downey High. Down, oh, so you from Downey? Yeah. Okay. That's how you determine that. Yeah, pretty much. High school. Yeah. For T Rose, Downey LA to you? Is Downey LA? No, Downey is not LA. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay, but that's Downey what everybody is not from LA. Everybody <laughs> Downey School District. Everybody she from South you, Central. Oh, bitch. He faking. Let, <laughs> let me like, get this nigga look, up off your body. Okay, vibe, bro. now look. Everybody from South Central <laughs> has the same demeanor. Nobody's bro. from LA, but anybody from South Central. That's what everybody from you're South Central says. You're not from LA. You're yes, from I am, bro. Downey, yes, I am. Downey is not a South Central. Bro, I'm, you're from I'm not Downey. saying it's South Central. No, no, it's not LA. Saying, no, what he's saying is that. What he's saying is that. So if he was from Lakewood, he'd be like, cool. that nigga said he's from LA County. Yeah, but it's not Pomona. No, it's not. It's I not mean, Pomona. I mean, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's South it's better. East, it's Southeast it's LA. Better. It's a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Southeast like, LA. I ain't gonna talk shit about Pomona because niggas shout be talking. Pomona. Oh yeah, yeah. Shout out yeah. Pomona. We no, just, I fuck with Pomona, but I'm saying yeah. we know this out the way. <laughs> yeah. That's when people say they're from LA County. You're like, yeah. True. So um, when you out of town and you tell them, you don't tell them down and you tell them LA. Huh? <laughs> you know, I'm from LA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you go to New York and they be like, where are you from? You be like, LA. You know, I'm like, South Central. Definitely don't say that. Not yet. Check out my pod. Check out my pod. Do you three ever like hood struggle? At least com co hood struggle compete because Duno does that with us a lot. Like As if we talk about like, damn, I was in a drive-by when I was little. Duno's like, well, I got shot in the leg. Oh, he's trying to outdo like, like, out you. Yeah. No, we definitely do that, us three. Uh, I don't know. No, no I, don't, I don't do that. You yeah, definitely. Yeah. The man back on Fig, we was bad. Yeah. You asked me that? That's all I said was hookers. <laughs> like, I ain't talking about niggas getting <laughs> shot, stabbed. <laughs> like, I ain't trying to outdo nobody. I don't even want to nah. be from that shit. No, no, I, no, no. We like to get away from that shit, keep it G. No, you know what we do? I think I think like if one of us say the sad story, somebody else would say a sad story. To help them feel. And then, and then everybody just keeps getting sad, and then we just sit here like, oh, shit. Shit. Nah, we just I had no sad. sad moment with your ass. You've definitely had a sad moment on here. When? With you? Nice. And not with me, but with it's the It's usually mom. with T-Rail, because he be breaking down. Yeah, T-Rail be sad like a motherfucker. Yeah. Man, you know what the fuck y'all niggas be talking about? <laughs> I don't even be sad up here. I'm the, I'm the nigga to... Like I got the... Cuddy? Do I like confetti? No. <laughs> confetti? What she said? I can't... She Kid Cuddy. Kid Cuddy, yeah. yeah. I like Kid Cuddy. If you're sad, listen to Kid Cuddy. What do you listen to when you're sad? <sighs> Tiger. <laughs> I'm trying to stop saying his name. We're talking about him too much. Okay, okay, okay. That was a good one. Oh, oh shit. That was, good. that was a good one. Who do you listen to when you're sad? Damn, dog. That's a good one, dog. What about you, AD? Frank Ocean, his first, his first album. Frank Ocean. You try to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tornado blew up. <laughs> that tornado was T-Rail. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> that shit bang though. <laughs> yeah, that shit bang though. Yeah, right? I'm good. I listen to '90s R&B all day, so you ain't listening to no '90s R&B right day. now. When you hop in the whip right now, what y'all listening to? When I hop in the whip, I listen to '90s R&B. When you sad, when you sad, what you listening to? No, we got our we got our chante. We got our like our our sad Spanish music. I don't oh, think there okay. there's just something about just. It's singing in Spanish. It just takes you to a deeper level. Or hey, Cuddy. I believe it. When yeah, I sang Coco, I was boo-hooing. Hey, yeah. I part. said, this shit's sad as fuck. There's like a... Remember me. <laughs> oh. Lion there's King. a meme. Oh. There's a meme about like how Drake sings songs about girls and is sad and like the whole Take Care album cover. And then there's Chente, who's like the the king of all kings to us. Like, hold my beer, bro. Like, I started this. Like, because that's how much yeah, his bro, music that impacts sad. us. Yeah, sad. Like, bro, at concerts, like if you look at old videos of all the old older ladies, he just they're all just looking at him like he like Jesus. Because he just, sings it with so much emotion. That's like the difference. Man, give me a playlist. I'm trying to see, man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he gonna be sure. there crying. 
I ain't gonna know what the words are saying. <laughs> <laughs> you could feel it though. I mean, when y'all turned up, it is the uh, corridos. Or, I mean, yeah, corridos, <laughs> especially like the new ones. You know, Corrido they're like the tra- corridos Troca. and shit. <laughs> hey, that, shit was, that shit was hard though. That shit was hard, but I ain't even doing pretty good. Oh yeah, I mean, but they saw it. It's hard. <laughs> he said, oh yeah, man. It's just one guy though in my DM all the time, man. All he send me is like Mexican, like mafia type shit. Bro, What's Tyrell going on? Me, on? Bro, Tyrell be and I'm so like, bro, and he's like, talk about it. I'm like, Tyrell. Before I read the caption, he come back like, oh yeah, maybe we shouldn't talk about it. Bro, he be sending me some wild shit, and I'm like, this shit is really going on out here, like. And there's people that just like strictly talk about that shit. He got me interested in it, and I'm like, but he like, hey, bring him on your pod, and, and I'm like, and I'm now I'm responding to the nigga. I'm like, should I respond to him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. I'm like, hell no, I ain't bringing that nigga on my pod. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna just keep reading your links though. This shit crazy. And shout out to Letty too because you were the first person that T Real wanted to be on the show. He ain't like right invited now. nobody else. Mm-hmm. He ain't never and called me fight, about nobody. Talk. He was like, man. Hey, you thought you was going to come here and fight with me? No, I was I was very prepared, though. I literally had the conversation with my husband on the way. Like, what if they say something, babe? I don't know what to do. I don't know. Like, <laughs> this thing is live stream. We can't edit it out. Why, like, why, why, why motherfuckers come here and think like, they know how you they gonna be prepared for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. What should a lot of people always come here with the past you? And they like, he used to be a motherfucker. And then now you're a changed man. You got an elevator in your house and shit. Now stop telling people that shit before they try and to a, find my and house. A, and a maid. And a maid. I don't have a maid, dog. You, you said it, a housekeeper. I said my tia. Yeah. I didn't, What's her I, name? <laughs> she don't even know her. <laughs> you don't know her <laughs> name? Her name is... You, call hey, you better not say Maria. No. You don't call her. Hey, my dad ass fucked up. If yeah. you say Maria, that's racist. Or Macarena. Her name, is, her name or... is Haiti. Haiti. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Haiti. Haiti. Heidi. He made, he made that up. I call Heidi. her Heidi, but her real name is Haiti. Haiti, yeah. Yeah. I fuck with her. <laughs> I love no, her to death. No, so you, you trust her in your house. I trust her to, with everything. Her husband, everything. These are people like that her just husband. came in my... Yeah, like, man, these are my real family. These are people that just came up out of my... You know, just came in my life from COVID and just started helping wow. me with shit. And I don't even know, like, you know, because I, you know... Nigga, do you clean? But matter of fact... Yeah, I do clean. I'm like the clean. I'm like it's it's OD. You know what I'm saying? I see with the chainsaw. Yeah, That's I, I cut some shit down in the you back, you shit. know. But my kid's nanny. I shouldn't have said that. Damn! Wow, it. rich nanny elevator and a Tia. I wow. shouldn't have said, but whatever. Shout out they nanny. You feel me? But I didn't want my kids to have no nanny. I'm like I don't trust motherfuckers. Yeah. But I had this one, you know, lady used to clean my house, and then she had to leave, and then she she brought another lady over, and then that lady, you know what I'm saying, introduced me to her sister, and then they all helping, and I'm like, this shit is crazy. Now, now I found my, I find myself at their house, you feel me, on my personal time, all in their backyard swimming <laughs> That's and shit. That's fire. Oh, everything. Yeah, bro, that's true, because my mom's been with the same lady for 20 years. Yeah. yeah. And she, and that's she fire. Trust, it's all she about trust, referrals, too. And she trusts my mom with. Her life. And her yeah. life. My mom used to pick up um for her name is Molly, which is um for the lady's daughter. Um the daughter of my mom used to pick her up, drop her off. My mom knows where everything's at. They could leave anything anywhere. Oh, yeah. And they trust my like fucking when they go out of state or when they go travel and go to the other house and they leave my mom the house. We could same. come whenever. Yeah. We could come whenever. A, like she's thing. like, You guys are family, this is your house. They got like 30 bedrooms, nobody sleeping some of them, you feel me? It just but Bro, yeah. Same show with my grandma. She cleans houses too, so she's doing the same thing like 30 years. Same same people, same owner. They refer her more business and shit. Like that's how it is. I Bro. put I put a little different shit around my house too. Like, let me see your shit. To <laughs> test it. <laughs> what the hell? In the beginning, in the beginning. Because you never know. You feel me? You never that's know. That's definitely valid, because I'm pretty sure there is people that have you never stolen know. Before. So, I mean, I, I put a blunt in my car, the guy who washed my car, he took it. When you talk to her, do you talk to her slow? No, like, I talk hey, to her. Hey, how are you? That's what happens sometimes when we're Latino and someone is like, I no, speak, I, she speaks I, Spanish, so they just talk slower. Like, if we're just going to understand <laughs> now that you talk slow. Well, I talk to like, her. Well, I, I, I wanted to be no, no, She knows. <laughs> Basura. Basura. <laughs> Basura. Yeah. The bathroom. What you say? What you say? What you say? Me no likey tiger. <laughs> no caramba. <laughs> No, she talks she talks English, like perfect English. She don't do oh, none okay, of that okay. shit. But she talks Spanish too. But I be one of them on my level. I talk just like this. And then sometimes when I talk like this, they start talking Spanish. You be getting mad at her too? Like you get mad at everybody else? Fuck no, man. <laughs> <laughs> he be blacking out sometimes. Sometimes when they talk Spanish, I can Spanish. understand. You feel me? Like they'll start talking that shit and I'll be like, yep. You go home, tired of no jumper. 
I, I told my girl the other day, like the, this guy he was he was uh, fixing my um, like a little barbecue pit in my uh, backyard. You got too right? much money. You can't do shit. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> like bro, you have a nanny, a man, yeah, yeah. an elevator, a barbecue a pit, a barbecue now. pit fixer. I ain't even got a barbecue pit. <laughs> Man, y'all niggas go buy one. Damn. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but he came down and he was. I, I was like, yeah, okay, but I know he don't know English for sure. Like so, we would just be communicating. He talk Spanish and I'd be like, yep. I point at it. He just talking to me and he came down. He was like, all right. He said something. He was like, all right, Lunas, Lunas, Lunas. And I was like, all right. For sure. And I was like, that for sure mean Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to yeah. ask, I was like, I said Lunas, and I, but I, I repeated it to, you know, somebody that knew, knew Spanish, but I, I said it like I knew what I was talking about wow. when she left. I was like, all right, Lunas. She was like, Lunas, Mayana? I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, you think you know what you're talking about? Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, I understand. Ah. For real, I need to learn Spanish, and you motherfuckers don't be wanting to teach me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but on some real shit, though, I kind of think, I ain't never really seen color lines like that because, like, my grandmother, she used to work for Compton Unified School District, rest in peace, right? Her best friend was Hispanic. You know what I mean? So I used to always see her. her name was Adriana. I used to always see Adriana. And that was, bro, the first funeral I ever went to yeah. was a young Hispanic girl. Wow. I think she was, like, nine or something. Fuck. And my grandma made me go to her uh, best friend niece's funeral. I didn't get it. It was nobody black in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? We don't but have repass. We don't have a, like, there's different even rituals in like a, a black funeral, a white funeral, and a Latino funeral. That shit was different. Mm -hmm. It was sad too. I was yeah, like, was what the really fuck? Sad. Hey, is it me or Super does it sad. feel like people don't cry at white funerals? I ain't never been to a white funeral. I don't know. You probably don't know what a lot of white mean? people. No, I've seen. I mean, I've seen a lot of movies. Man, they gonna cancel. Your <laughs> no, I'm not like I'm not saying they can't they be sad. Man, if you got a loved one, you gonna cry. You gonna cry. You gonna cry. Yeah. Bro, fucking most funerals I've seen, white people they're usually older, so they already lived oh, a they long. Oh, live longer than us, clearly. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Wait, that we just got based off movies. Wow. If, am I lying? I never thought about that. Like, like, bro, I've been fucking my homie got buried. I never. Been there was to a, a funeral going funeral. on. Yeah, Fuck, there was wow. a funeral going on not far from him, and they were white. But you know, I what? Did. if we if we is breaking it down like that, a lot of our you know our community do die young because of gangs and you know what I'm saying the harder communities. You feel and me? We be, we be at each yeah. other. You feel yeah. me? Like the the other races really kind of like don't be doing that shit. So they they might like you know live a little longer than us just based on that too. I think well in Los Angeles for sure. Yeah, because when I went to the homie's funeral, I remember everybody, I was <gasps> I was crying like a motherfucker. And then when when they buried one of the homies, there was another funeral going on, and there was white people. And I was like, damn, why? The, like, like, in my head, just briefly, I was like, damn, we look way sadder than they do. Mm. And then and then a couple weeks later, when I went to go visit the homie, they put his, I walked over there, and that person died um, older already. So I'm like, oh, shit, you know, you know maybe it's like, they already lived a good life. They're no longer suffering, maybe. Yeah, when they get to a certain, because, you know, uh, we just lost my family. We just lost Miss Williams. But she lived to be 100. So it's like, you can't really be sad as somebody. You, you 100 be, years yeah, old You can be crazy. sad. You sad, but at the end of the day, you like. You got to throw a party. You like, that damn. You're you a made, you're you made it to 100. It's a party. Yeah. yeah. Like, kind of, like, that's an yeah. accomplishment. Yeah. I don't want to make it to 100. You don't want to yeah. make it to 100. Nah, uh, after 80-something, after after take me out. I'm yeah, out of here. I feel the same way. I'm trying to make it to 80. Yeah, I'm trying to go. When my dick don't work, I'm out, bro. Honestly, I'm out. Well, they got shit for that. Bro, I don't. I mean, but like when it really don't. like. I'm saying when that don't work. The blue shoe. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. saying when that don't yeah. work. Go again, yeah. go again, go again. Hey, well, I, blue shoe. I, I, I want to get y'all take on this shit that that shooting that happened at that that elementary school. That shit oh. with the police officers drinking water, nigga, in the hallway, nigga. It's so fucking crazy now. The and fucking, that's another thing Charleston said. He said, "Fuck them kids." Oh, that's oh crazy. he said that. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but damn. That now that's crazy. Yeah. Now they didn't. Now they didn't got the principal got put on leave because she didn't fucking lock the gate like all the way like that. No, nah, but if super you super sad when when them fucking police and SWAT and whatever the fuck they was in there, it was you hear the nigga shooting and you drinking out the water fountain and shit when his kids like come on man. My thing, fuck uh, this. You know, obviously, like shit, we talked about it where it touched. Obviously, I mean, obviously, you guys are parents, so you guys have kids, so you guys can only. But like, obviously, I would ram my ass in there, bro. But it's crazy to think that a hundred of you guys are outside with big ass guns, and there's one motherfucker in there, and he's committing a fucking massacre, and nobody got in because of protocol. At that point, it's fuck protocol. There's a bunch of little ass kids dying, dog. They were pussy though. You could tell. All like, of them. like. 
Bro, that shit is crazy, fool. Nah, that shit is stupid yeah. crazy. That shit bro. fucked me up. I didn't take my son to school for like a few days after. I was like, in oh, the you school, wanted, oh, you school year parents? was about to, it was about to end. And I was like, man, fuck. I was getting anxiety the whole time he was at school. It I do was, make you think about shit like I that. I was, yeah, I was you fucked took up. Your, you took your kids to school? Lady? Me? Yeah. Well, they're, they're like, they're in like daycare right now. But that was even scary to me because now when we take them, I think of the situation. You think like like even even like you need a password to get into my kid's school, right? But then I think like someone could just push me out of the way or, or you you start thinking of things you shouldn't be thinking of. Like naturally as as humans we shouldn't be seeing so much that we do see because of the screens in front of us or just because of the way life is. That's not good for like our bodies. Our bodies mm-hmm. still primitive. Like this stuff is trauma. Like even that stuff like you don't know what you're going to do unless you're in that situation. But seeing those videos, it really puts shit into perspective. Like, God damn, this, everything that could go wrong did go wrong. And it was just set up for that dude to just be in there. And not just the kids he killed. He's traumatizing kids for life because there are survivors. Man. But those kids are just going to grow up with the worst, like, just perception of life. They said that he played music, right? While he was Fucking killing weirdo. kids. And... I don't know who the what the band is or who what the song was, but it was essentially it was a rock song about killing, uh, killing people. And the kid, one of the kids was interviewing and saying that I bet you anything whenever they hear a sound that's like the song or it's going to be in their brain, like that's going to trigger you right back. That's something forever, you know, And, and that's where my heart goes. Like, it's just really tough. And then we just moved on from it. Like, that's wild. That's what people do. Man, the lady, the, the 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 dude's son, her his mom. His mom. I seen the, the video. You seen the video? Yeah. yeah, I seen the video. But it's like, it's like it's it's fifty fifty with me too. Yeah. Like, what should you do? To, yeah. It ain't her fault. But, then but it's it, maybe see, it is. But it's, Every, then it's like yeah. nature versus nurture. There. Yeah, it's yeah. like my yes. first reaction. I'm fucking her up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then then it's like, damn, it ain't her fault. I seen the video. I seen the video when she's walking away, and then everybody's yeah, the like, "Those are moms of yeah, the, yeah, kids uh, that uh, have of the mom of the kids." And yeah. and she's like, "I did." Like she keeps telling them, "I didn't know." Yeah. But, but so nothing you can say. No, no. I saw my mom the video, and she's like, she's like, "You won't understand until the fucking the love of a mother." Mm-hmm. Like to her, that was like, "It's fuck him." Rest in shit, I don't give a fuck. I wish he's alive because they would have tortured the fuck out of him. He would have got the gas. The, they would have done all type fucking fucked yeah. up shit to him. Fuck him. But what I'm saying is, my mom was like, but as a love of a mother, she, that's still her son. Yeah, no matter and what. And I'm like, damn. she. I'm like, but he killed a bunch of kids. He's like, but that's still her son. The love of a mother is like yeah. the strongest thing you could probably ever have, dog. And not to hold her accountable, but there are things that happen in your life that set you up. Like every time, even when they go back to like the one that shot in the other elementary school. For the Sandy Hook Yeah, one? there's little things that they have to, they hit every mark of someone that's that psychotic. And some of that is your family dynamic. So as much as it's not her fault, she didn't pull the trigger, there is parts that you play. But it's like, to which extent do we hold you accountable for the part you played in how he turned out? It's scary. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's like we crazy. have kids and oh, I'm like, sad. that should have said. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking crazy. I feel like we all we have kids. We know like oh, you know can... you, you know your kids, right? So like, I feel like she just ignored a bunch of shit. You know when your kids sad, you know when your kids mad, all that shit. Like there must have been so many red flags that she's like, oh, I guess he's okay. Like I know my son's not a serial killer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like that's why I be trying to be cool. Man. Yeah, <laughs> like my daughter, I be like, man, look, tell me anything. I'll get you what you want. Yeah. <laughs> you get good grades. You yeah. feel me? Just. Just be, open, be, just be up front with me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. All that sad shit. Get that shit out of here. Yeah, next topic. Hey, no, <laughs> most real shit. Though. Hey, <laughs> you I, just don't I can break out of it. Yeah. I told you yeah. he'd be starting shit. Yeah. I, can, I can break out of it. Hey, hey no. how do they feel about Adam in the industry? Ooh, that's a good one. Because you in it. You in it. Uh, Letty, I mean. Letty turned her oh, head. Letty, I know yeah, what that means. Adam? Yeah. We I don't like porn. Yeah. Have you ever talked shit about That part I don't mind enough. I don't mind at all. Have y'all ever talked shit about Adam? The hip hop part? She didn't say no. Look, she looked at me. <laughs> Let me go in on the How do y'all this white feel man about fired me? Adam. I'm at his house. I'm not gonna talk shit about him. I don't him give at his a house. fuck about his house. He man. don't care. How you how you personally feel? Because he don't care. You don't even have to you can give personal or you can just, you know, what, what you overheard or you know how do you how they feel about him yeah. in the hip hop community, you feel me? Well, speak I just I, I he definitely took a... Uh, he pounced on the opportunity that the void that there was in LA that 
a lot of up and coming rappers or rappers to a certain degree degree are not getting showcased. So he's like, let me just showcase them here. But it's also showcasing the fuck shit along with the like having real combos because like not for nothing but like my husband will watch no jumper interviews that adam has and he's genuinely like i like this interview it was a good sit down but then there's the like yeah i fuck basketball players and it's like all right like because to me it's like a lot of those girls are latina I like so to me i don't like that stuff but that's that's just a personal preference i understand it there's a lane for it and that's part of who he is but uh i didn't like that when he was defending you he was trying to like shit on me, and I was like, "Oh, okay, bro. Oh. All right, bro." Oh, he was just like, and you who is it? Always you. Unpack it, cause I don't even know what the fuck he was talking about. I only remember that he was essentially the same thing. Like, who the fuck is she? Who does she think she is? Trying to say some shit on Duno's podcast. I bet you got they wrote it. And it's like, no, these jokes come off the top of the dome. Like, oh, he was throwing low ball, yeah. low Because jokes. I do, I work really hard. It's like just. Certain people, you can call it, like, you can say that it happens with women or with Latinos in, in just any type of industry, right? Work twice as hard to get, like, half as much. So it's like, damn, I work really hard at this shit. So I to mean, be I, discredited, it's just like, goddamn. But you did, you were like, no, nah, let these family. Yeah, you know? you're damn right. I mean, even though I'm going to throw a joke back at yeah, you, yeah. I mean, AD, I mean you AD, AD, right. AD definitely was yeah. like, yeah, let the pay their dues yeah. in L.A. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he, he said the same thing about Blue Lake Kev. Same as Boulay <laughs> Cave though. And then you know what I'm And then yeah. Boulay Cave came on here. He's talking. We go to his show. He's talking. You know what I'm saying? It's the same little shit. But he was. But at some up point, it's like his fault pot. that he doesn't know who we are. It's not our fault that yeah. he doesn't know who we are. It's more like I mean, it's different ways of die. Like the people that watch No Jumper, they don't really be in. I, I doubt that they watch like listen to radio like yeah, that. Yeah, you yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Like they get away from that. But yeah. no, you're right though about the, like the messiness shit. Because I swear, to, I swear, a lot of people don't know when when all that shit was going on. That was, I was about to walk away from the platform. Yeah. Oh yeah, the the I message was. shows. I I, I told no, I told no, that no, I, I was like, they gonna keep doing this shit. Yeah. I ain't gonna be part of this shit. I don't like that shit. How do you feel about it in the whole right now? As far as like you you know all the cultures coming together, all the different pods, you know, and us doing our thing. Just a, a, a you know aside from Adam. I think that this is genuine. Like, this is genuine. Like, I genuinely know you guys. You know, uh-huh. like, coming up, as much as we want to segregate it, I ho- you've had Mexican homies. We've had black homies. Like, black people are my family. So I think that we got so much more to, like, do together. I Literally, the key to anything is collaboration. Like, when you start doing more shit, a lot of it is because I don't know your perspective. You know, Mm -hmm. you could say Mexicans are racist to you. I could say black people are racist to me. Why don't we talk about it and show an example of something different, you know? And to me, that's just in any way, shape or form. It could be two different people from two different hoods. It could be still Latinos in the same realm, but it's like Salvis and Mexicans. You know, it's just all different. That was a big one, too. And it's big. I'm half of both. It's fucking weird. That's big, big, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't didn't, know that. I didn't didn't know. Shout out to my my homie Spike, because, like, you know, me and homie Spike live together. He's a Mexican man. Mm -hmm. We live together together for three years yeah. and then I got another homie named Los who's El Salvadorian yeah. and it was like yeah we don't get along with them I'm like what the fuck you mean <laughs> yeah I mean pupusas are tamales uh, uh, yeah <laughs> I mean but that's not racist <laughs> that's how I, I mean I that's like how both. you but that's how I like motherfucker both. broke it down to me I'm like yeah you wanted this tamale no, they were like no gas, they was like no I really eat pupusas I don't really know hey, how to make tamales over here shout yes. out to Bozo the pupusas there oh yeah 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 but, yes. yeah, but Bozo's <laughs> sister bought some fire pupusas. no see but it's different like it depends what type of Latino community you were raising because there's different ones like where Vic's from most of them are just Mexican it's just yeah. you know they're 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 not first generation Latinos where I'm from we're all literally I me and all my homies we're all first generation Latinos so you know so fucking my best friend is salvadorian my other best friend is guatemalan the other one's Honduran, and they probably hate each other even more but it's really the mexicans we feel like we're better than the, the other three countries that's what it is <laughs> that's racist that's, that's so racist it's hey okay, yeah. how, did y'all see that um when Paco, uh flaco got spit on like how did y'all feel about that the messiness continues yeah <laughs> yeah i was yeah i was watching it um I mean, I felt like he asked for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a lot yeah, of like. Suck my dick is crazy, a, huh? As a, like, <laughs> a, apart from that, yeah, of course that's disrespectful, but like, the whole, like, because I'm viewing it as like a journalist. It's like, why are you that hostile towards your guest? It essentially, I feel like there's just a level of professionalism. It's like, okay, you know, yeah, we have fun and all that shit, but it's like, are you really interviewing him? Like, what's your goal with this? Trying to expose him? Like, 
bro, you, you're face to face with this person. You could do that shit on the internet all day. But it's like you're trying to expose somebody in person. Like you didn't think that all the way through. Damn. You know what I'm Did you look at the roast battle? Yeah. Was I in the wrong? About uh about the Blasi shit? Yeah. Um no, how do I start? No, no, no. <laughs> no, you know what? It was right. Right. It was because, listen, when I say he was grabbing me, be like, why are you saying that hold about on, him? Listen. I'm like, all right. And listen, listen. <laughs> Just listen. give it a couple no, months. It looked, hey, it looked no, awkward. We'll hold on, listen, listen. Because no, I asked him. Hold up. Hey, hold up. I'm asking. Hold up. Yeah. Hold up, listen, cause on Monday, back on. Look, look, so I asked him on Monday. I seen him on Monday when we're hold recording. Up, hold 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 up. It's on Monday. <laughs> get to him. 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 So I seen him on Monday and I was like, hey, how'd you feel about that? He's like, well, Cam Girl didn't block me. And I was like, well, you also don't work on no jumper. And he's like, good point. <laughs> yeah. she, she just seems to be She Redacted blocked girl. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Oh, red, oh. Shout out to her. Um, Are you be looking at her Instagram? <laughs> not like that. Not like that. We're friends. We're friends. He's so messy. All right, no. So back back to back to his original question. Um, I didn't think you were in the wrong. It was like it got awkward after that. You could tell, like even like I'm not, me not being here, just watching it. But the only thing was that like somebody that's like that can tell that it's like you're like oh yeah like he's joking around and also it's it's not true. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he didn't steal some shit from Etsy. But like for the people that are just casually like, oh my God, he's a thief, da da da. <laughs> they start to like get that narrative, and that's sometimes dangerous to somebody's brand. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like if if you're like t tapped in enough, you know Blasi has I original ideas all day. But for the casual people that are like, oh shit, he's a thief. Yeah, yeah Blasi, everybody, Blasi he's a thief. Go. He's super creative. Of course, yeah. He he don't he don't care. Yeah, me Blasi, my dog. <laughs> yeah, so. my he dude. didn't feel bad yeah, at all. That's my Look dude. how he's smiling right here. <laughs> that's my dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so for you being in a in the limelight so much, like in your husband, like dealing with your husband, like does he ever like get jealous? You know, like no, like his, I wish he like, did. Damn. Yeah, I'm so he really so don't give a like shit. So there's like a stereotype of Salvadorian women that were that were crazy. <laughs> uh huh. Definitely. Are. I mean, because they do I say Latino like, women are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know but then saying? even within, I guess, like the ultimate is the Salvi, right? Yeah. I don't like it. So um, but yeah, yeah, Salvi women are definitely the yeah. But he's very balanced. It's weird. I don't like it. it. It is. I'm like, you must be cheating on me. You have another family, some shit, something back Women in Mexico. Women are crazy, huh? Yeah, it can't be that you're this <laughs> That's healthy. That's crazy. It can't be that you're this healthy. <laughs> so all that Fuck shit Donald don't be doing on his TikTok, that's you. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. No, I don't hit my husband. Because he did the, domestic you violence on the girl. You hit him before. You messy. You messy, AD. Tell the truth. You fucking cheating on me because like, you don't be saying shit. I just I, I that's how I talk. Yeah. It was no, only one no, woman. That's how he talk. That's how he talk. <laughs> one woman in my life that that scared me, like ran me off. It was a Spanish girl. And What's I was going to fuck with her, and I didn't have good intentions. She was like, if you fucking do me that wrong, part. I never get I was like, I ain't going to do you wrong. She sent me a picture of a Ken dog getting his head cut off. <laughs> And I was like, what I'm out all the way down. Yeah. Yeah. Text it to that? me. Yes, nigga. No, but Barbie, look. Barbie cutting a Ken head dog. But look, that, and I was like, I, I don't need it. I don't want no smoke. Nah. It's called it's called it's called sopa de canzón. What is that? So like, there's this. I'm pretty sure it's real. To whoever does that, <laughs> I respect what you do and leave me out of it. But there oh, is some shit. Lord, but, yeah. Lord but, Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs> that shit, let him be doing. No. no, but there's definitely. I've heard stories. I I've definitely <laughs> no, but I've definitely heard stories of. Family members, or even my mom's told me uh, a story about one of my aunts or something that she definitely like. She they know she doesn't want to be there, but she's there, so they think she got brujeria done on her, and that's real. I, I don't know what the hell you just said, you know. <laughs> brujeria is like witchcraft, oh, okay. so I think like voodoo. He's on. it's essentially voodoo like Mexican yeah, voodoo, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. Like or like natural but, healer stuff, right? But then you use it to for your relationship and things like that. <laughs> Dude, yeah. that's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, fool, I do you mean, believe in that stuff though? Fool. Yeah, I, mean, I know because, people. I know people. Yeah, people, people do that shit. No, people I know, do that shit. I know yeah. girls. I know girls that done it to guys. Happen, fool. No, because I've heard women like I don't know. This this not Hispanic, but yeah. I heard women they will put like the period blood in the fucking Man, spaghetti, the spaghetti Man, and make you. Yeah, yeah, and if you yeah, eat it, here, if you yeah. eat it, you like drawn to them forever. You know what I'm saying? Fetish at that point. That shit is. I mean, that's just. But I've heard a lot of girls like try to do witchcraft, like. You go, you bringing your girlfriend to the show? I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Lenny says you did. I don't. Oh, this your big sister. Yeah. I, this I, is your big you know sister, bro. I was in the video I took here. at my house, and we are gonna put it on the screen. It's bro, this your big you sister. You trying to throw me under the bus? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was trying to throw you under the bus. He was trying to throw you under the bus. Nigga, two weeks in a row. 
Whoa. I'm gonna do that. I got the video. Hey, do, do, you that, ca- do you care or not if your husband <laughs> posts you on his Instagram? Yeah, I care. You but care. I get like he's he crazy. Is. Yeah, of course they care. Wow. I think deep down everyone cares. They just are like playing for like not trying not to be hey, toxic. Girl cares. <laughs> We're not crayons. No one's non toxic. We're toxic as fuck. And it's okay to own it. Do you think you're toxic, Tira, at some point? Do I think I'm toxic? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, for sure. Sometimes I'll be toxic. You know, I'm, like you said, I'm argumentative. I start an argument for no reason. <laughs> we all do that though. Yeah. You leaving that teen? I got an argument for your ass at nine forty-five. <laughs> it's passion. It's passion. We're hey, not shit, arguing. What we doing? Shit going too good. You gotta throw a wrench yeah, out there. Look, how much do you really love me? Sex so better when the passion is like that. They're mad at each other. Come here, baby. <laughs> Come on, dog. <laughs> oh shit. Are you guys done with kids? Are you guys done with kids? Hell no, I ain't done with kids. I'm done. <laughs> I'm super well, stupid got, what, done. Four, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. I got like two or three more in me. I mean, if I, I win this done. lottery for a billion, anything can happen. Mm. <laughs> Did y'all get y'all lottery tickets? I no. haven't. No. I'm getting my shit as soon as I leave this motherfucker. I'm going straight to 7 Eleven. Get you a little scratcher. You over there. Man, that shit is for a billion. Yes, Do y'all believe in it, though? A billy. Do you think you can win? I don't know. I don't. I mean, some people win, right? You but know, we there's look, like a curse with that, too. We looked this up, too. And the, the dopest one I seen was a group of co-workers. They all fucking won. It was oh, like 500 yeah. million or something. And they split it? That's yeah, they fun. all split it. They all That's walked, fire. They all walked out their job at the same time? That's fire. <sighs> walked out that motherfucker. Wait, if you win, would you still do No Jumper? I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> if you win, would you do the radio station? I'd buy the radio station. Oh! That's a lot of bread, That's fool. See I own it. I let the, can I get a job? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. bro. <laughs> you wouldn't do this shit no more? Yeah, Fuck you yeah, would. Yeah, I do this he shit. I it. love this, this shit. This shit fun. What? I love this shit. I can do this shit all day. My sleep. Yeah. But for whatever Adam told you, okay, you want a, a fucking million dollars or whatever the fuck amount you mean, so I'm a not going to pay you no more. So I'm not going to pay you no more. So you got to do it for free because you're already hella rich. What, a billion nigga do this shit for free? What the fuck? <laughs> the are not doing this shit for free. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he still want his money. <laughs> Give yeah. me my hooves, Adam. <laughs> yeah. More so because you just want to know that they're giving you money yeah. than the like the actual money, I'm sure. Right now in 2022, how does a new artist get their uh, song on the radio? That they ain't going to play it. Yeah, she ain't playing your <laughs> shit. She for sure ain't playing your shit, so don't even worry about it. I let you just know after this, it's going to be hella rappers in the DMs. Bro, like. I mean, but it's hella politics to get your fucking song She's played on the radio. That, though. Though. People yeah, don't know yeah. that shit, though. Yeah. Like, they think this shit, they can, I can just bring your little CD and then y'all pop it in, yeah. play it at 6.30. And I think radio's so free and so in everyone's life. We forget that radio is a business, like a business, Target. Yeah. Or like, like, you don't go into Target and be like, hey, why don't you sell my cousin soap? And it's like, no, there's a business that we deal with these companies, and that's how we stock the shelves. You know? Advertisers, so slots. That, exactly, and that's that's how radio works, essentially. So yeah, 30 songs every that. hour on the hour. It's a small, yeah. tiny bracket for somebody to get something played, yeah. and usually the midnight slot. Yeah. But then again, when you go to other states, you know they do play their local artists, and they do yeah, put their local artists on. Yeah, but we in L.A. for a reason, too. Like, yeah, and that's, yeah. L.A.'s the number two market. Yeah. New York is number one. Yeah. So when you go to other places, like before iHeart, iHeart took over like a lot of yeah. fucking cities and shit like that. A lot of them stations weren't like big stations. Yeah. They fucked with the artists, but it wasn't like to the magnitude of what Power 106 is yeah. in 92.3. And at first, Power 106 was the only oh, radio right. station we had. Philly and them, shout out to Philly Phil. Yeah. But they had a hard time, bro. Like yeah. imagine Well, it's everybody. not the DJ too, I think, because we're the faces. That's who you go to. They blame y'all. But find whoever the music director is. Why don't you? Why do you hit the DJ and not the music director? Dr. Why Wizard, do you hit but you ain't the, find him. the DJ or not like the A and R's? There's people whose their actual job is to listen to your music and to sign you so you get on radio. Like hit those people up. You right. know, like that. Find who those people are. LinkedIn exists. They want to skip the middle figure man. Figure that out. Yeah. They yeah. just want to go straight to big boy. Yeah. Put no, this shit on. Is. Every, eight every, o'clock. Everything is relationships, though. Yeah. It is. And then, too, like when you really understand how radio works, how the music industry works, period, yep. then you won't you won't be mad at a lot of people because yeah. it's not on them. You know what I mean? Just like Letty said, radio, she said, is a lot of fucking hard work yeah. for a little bit of pay. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers want to go home at the end of their fucking shift. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, What if Duno start doing OnlyFans with Adam? We all going to keep him on the back? I had a conversation with Duno about OnlyFans stuff. 
Like you when he had the girl. Shit? No, I wasn't thinking about that. When shit. he had the girl in the. <laughs> you don't do it. Uh, uh, interviews. Oh, okay. 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 No, the Patreon. Yeah, we do the Patreon. Yeah. Oh, okay. so you had a conversation with him yeah. about the Patreon. When no, he no, about had the, the girl. Like on the that. leash. You yeah. throwing it? Oh, on the leash. Yeah. What you tell him? Well, just think big picture. Don't think right now. Think in ten years. Think He'll what your again. kids see. Think all of that. Like, <laughs> and he's like, let the I do want that as my brand, but I'm also like, I can't make him who I want him to be. Like, I literally feel like this is my child. Like, I can't make him who I want him to be. I have to let him be. Cause the Fucking comedic, nasty. cause the comedic duno is like no holds bar. Like you can like yeah. supposed to be able to do whatever you want. So I yeah. think that's kind of like that too. Wait. But you know, watch the dog. Don't pet the dog next time. Oh, oh my god, he threw some chips at a girl too. No, was I that you? That he was did that. at Brown Bag. He started this right. So he started this thing where if he says the word bitch or if he talks down on a girl, he has to put a dollar in the brown bag. So it's a it's wow. a it's a gold bowl. What but type he, of college yeah. you going to at the brown they bag? Run, they run a whole ship over there. But he yeah. started it right. So I implement it. So anytime he says bitch or talk shit about a girl, and then I'm like, do no brown bag. But then I got the is wow. Nigga, nigga let they don't let them talk. Let they don't. Da, 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 da. No, he didn't even say, he didn't say it. there. He He's say not, nigga to us every day, all day. Well, no, no, but on, the, not on the brown bag, you don't. Bro, you different on the brown bag. Yeah. So you want me to be like that over here? You getting bitched out over there? You got to put a dollar in there every time. He <laughs> <laughs> bitching my boy. Oh, uh, I feel bad. Hey, for I wish you, Adam would. But like every time you say bitch, you got to put a dollar in there. <laughs> I started that. It's just two different worlds. Just two different worlds. Okay, so let's ask you, what's the what do you feel is the different world when it comes to it? Like what do you take more serious? At the end of the day, our brown bag. And you could be honest. Fucking we already know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you like this. This is already built. This is already built. Like this, before we were on here, Adam already had this. But in reality, Adam doesn't need us. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I don't think nobody need anybody. Because this shit was moving before we no, got no, here. Mm-hmm. Now, now we, we assist. We make this shit, you know, a lot better. But, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, Taking but, it to new heights, for sure. But when you start thinking when, that, that, when you start thinking like, oh, we need this and need nigga, any, everybody replaceable, too. Yeah. You feel me? If no. you go back to Downey, they're going to fill your spot with somebody else. You know what I mean? Brown bag ain't about to stop. So, everybody, including me, we can all... Go somewhere, do something. They gonna somebody gonna feel the void. People may feel a certain way about it, but they'll move on. Just like nigga, tragedy happens in the world. The worst shit can happen. Twenty kids get killed, and then next week we're not even talking about it no more. So that has nothing to do with him leaving Brown Bag. <laughs> what? The question. Yeah. I Wait, but <laughs> <laughs> he made no sense. Nobody said it was. It's just two different worlds. Like that, we started all three of us together. You know what I mean? Like that's something like we zero, like, yeah, like no, no from subscribers. From zero to what we have no, now, nothing, yeah. the people we hire, the people we let go, the people. We're the Adams there. Yeah. How yeah, much yeah. though? But how much do y'all believe in that Duno is somewhat giving y'all the most of y'all clout? Lady don't like that. She looks you crazy. Um, Voodoo coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> it's dynamic. It's dynamic. If you understand how to like make a show, you know that there needs to be one person that fits like this. Like essentially, you guys have the three with, and it's personality types. It's the way you are versus the way AD is versus the way um, Duno is. Duno and I are a certain way that Vic is. Like it's just dynamics. So like the big three, every every team aspires to have that. You know. Mm. Uh, so we need Duno to be like that. Because Duno being like that helps me shine in the way I am, helps Vic shine in the way he is. Vic being how he is helps us shine. Me being how I am, I know how to toss it up to get the best out of them. I feel like you do solidify the podcast yeah. as far as um, what you you have done. Mm-hmm. But as a younger talent yeah. and what he's doing right now, as far as the internet, he's definitely bringing over yeah. a little bit more of the following. But yeah. it is a dynamic in a whole. Like, you do got to be cohesive. You feel me? Yeah. So when you do watch it, it does click. Well, it's it's, a, it's yeah. not like Mad Lady. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's like best, when you watch it, you really world. love it. You it's really the best love of both worlds it. because you yeah. got yeah. Duno bringing a younger crowd in. You got somebody like, you got Charlemagne shouting y'all out. That's big. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. yeah. See, but see, like people don't oh, understand. Yeah, he, he don't. Uh, he started shit with Charlemagne too. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, look, hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He was talking the other day. Oh. That's your homie. Yeah. 
<laughs> like real, <laughs> like they text. That's your real homie. Yeah. Like real homie. Like like bro, he started it out and like he tell him it was tell him it was fucking back then. <laughs> but right now, I really love what he do Dude, yeah. and how he does it. You know what I'm saying? You guys would get along really well because he's a I great eye sure. of talent and he he can put a lot of feelings aside if he sees what you got in you. For sure, I can, I know I you know what I'm saying I will fuck with him. Sure, but I, I start like sorry. I said I start following. Tell him sorry. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? What did you say he about him? You caught him a bitch. You <laughs> <laughs> Tell him sorry. Look at the camera, T-Rail. No, but it was more than that. But if you... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Charlamagne. For me. <laughs> I'm saying... But he, it was also like kind of his way of apologizing too, because mm. what he did, you know what I'm saying? He just like, it was a spicy reward of Charlemagne. And yeah. he was getting at um, the mother of my child and calling her all type mm. of, you know, Put your glasses on before you cry. Go ahead. <laughs> the mother of my child. He was calling her hoes. Shut hose. the fuck up, Let him I had to get that. He was calling her hoes and whores. Uh, no, and no, 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 no. Why did her ghetto such and such and such a do that and bring a baby to a show and all that? He's like, you know, if you go look at it, probably. Yeah. If you, you see got, it, you, at that point, you. You, I had to. you can't but say something yeah, yeah, yeah. like if you I had don't to say yeah, something. that's worse so i guess he did his research he came back you know what i'm saying apologize to her but when gave me the donkey of the mm-hmm. day for what i wrote you know threatening his life and all that a little life threatening <laughs> like, like, uh, you know <laughs> It was alright. Just sprinkled it in there. That, like I respect the shit out of Charlemagne. Charlemagne, I love Charlemagne. Like I Andrew, like, like you know, what I'm saying Lou Duval. Like these niggas, like I really like fuck with these niggas. Nah, for but sure. See, see, but even like, um, fucking Letty, um, fucking connected me with Andrew before I met him on the movie set, and then when I met him that day, I was like, I used her name. I was like, oh yeah, I do the podcast, the brown bag. I mean, with Letty, he's like, oh yeah, the something with a B. Like even though he he didn't know the name, I was like, yeah. Andrew's tapped in. He watches everything. He watches everything. He watches everything. But yeah. But I, yeah, no, I think I think even with like all four of you guys, like people don't know this, but Tyrell really like, Tyrell like, he really took the big bro role with me. Like he he texted me about Real certain shit. shit. He lobbed certain shit that people don't know he lobbed. And Real shit. I don't know if he want me to mention it, but the homie really be putting money in my pocket sometimes. Letty, Real shit. Letty's the one that connected me with Red Bull. You feel me? I wouldn't have met Cali if it wasn't for Vic. Real shit. You know, AD put me in a movie, so it's like, when it's like, yeah, I might be the one with more followers. Yeah. There's People don't know that there's a team behind everything, you feel me? Yeah, you gotta let, click let with these, like, no cap the greatest point guard of all time. You know what I'm saying? I feel like every time, like, when it comes to the podcasting shit, like she said, like, she throws it up and we're able to dunk it. And that's, like, a big success, I think, of the brown bag because it's like, maybe you're not always meant to be lead mic, right? But that was me with Mad Lately. So it's like, when she's the lead mic yeah, and man. she's able to throw it up, <laughs> Like, shit, I might be the best three of all time, though. You Real know what shit. I'm saying? Like, yeah. I might not meant to be the one. But the three, with her leading the way, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's, like like she said, it's a lot of dynamic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, too, I want y'all to come on here, too. I mean, even though this isn't our platform, but this is our show. Yeah. But we want to kind of show, like, some unity, you know, just, you know, in L.A. and just in the podcasting world. Because a lot of motherfuckers don't do that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, Adam, Adam did show a lot of love going to New York and going to do a whole bunch of nigga shows. And then yeah, they'll man. come back here. And then I just felt like, we supposed to be doing that shit oh, yeah, here, yeah. too. You feel me? tickets like, in New York and Boston, too. They almost gone. <laughs> like, go. for real. Like, I no, like, no, feel like we no, but that's definitely that dope because, like, when they ask me about, at the end of the day, I always go, like, like the dynamic. Obviously, you no know, Jumper already has, like, you know, there is the messy shit, the messy shit before from the past and the recent shit, like, motherfuckers getting spit on and shit. But I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like but if you come, like, people understand when you come at the end of the day, Sid, it's like pulling up to the block and yeah. there might be homies that walk in a little later, a little, but it's still like, what's up, fool? Tell us about your whole week. Yeah. And you sit there bullshit and clown. And with the brown bag, it's the same way. It's just a different dynamic. Sometimes people have two different groups of families, and that's just kind of what it is for me. I and I'm that. blessed to have that, to be honest, because it's like I go home. Obviously, we were more. We're more Latino, but it's it's the same, bro. We literally have a group chat. But me and Tyrell, like obviously with Tyrell, we literally go back and forth. He texts me like, "Congratulations, hey, fool, look at this video with AD. He had conversations. Yeah. He put me to play, but with Letty, me and Letty talk every day mm-hmm. once she's out of power, yeah, and we talk about her day. Like, hey, fool, how you feeling? Yeah. Oh, you did this. She's the one that. Connected me with Red Bull and, and got me like this big ass shit I just did with them and we're looking to work further. With I Vic. can tell you don't want to let Letty down. Yeah, Most that's why you. Yeah. I can I can tell. Like, oh, I'm gonna cry. That's so cute. Yeah, I mean, don't do it because he's gonna put your shit back on. Let me walk. Everybody home. 
But it, it, it be the other way around yeah. too. She probably don't want to let Duno down either. Nah. Maybe it's a team. No, nah, but for I him, for Vic to say she's the point guard, you can yeah. tell she's on them. Like I want y'all to be great because I mean, somebody told me he can't be walking the girls a dog. She, she really yeah. care. I didn't think about yeah. like how they could mess up. No, no, but your business. Like, you know but saying? she solidified in this shit, so she wants y'all to be great because she don't want to waste her motherfucking time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, too. but like, she genuinely like, care about them. Fucking wasting my no, time. No, no, but I think. No, but I do y'all shit. No, but I think generally too, like even when the whole. I can remember shit happening. You guys both talked to me separately about the shit. Like, mm. for you got to understand that. You know what I mean? Obviously, you guys aren't Latino, but you guys understood the perspective both ways. And you talked to me separately. You're like, and I was like, okay, cool. Shout out to America Cholo, you too. You know what I mean? Like, it was different perspectives. Like, you know what I mean? But definitely with her, it's kind of more of those things where, like, let's be honest. The brown bag, a, a lot of shit, people, for a lot of shit behind the scenes. Yeah. We definitely screamed at each other before. Oh, yeah. I was like, fuck, Letty, I ain't talking to her no more, Vic. I'm mad. Whoa. Like, After like, all whoa. I did for this motherfucker, right? <laughs> After all he's saying right now, Red Bull, no. Vegas, whatever. Whoa, whoa. and did he want to fight yeah, you? Yeah. Nah, but it whoa, was. Whoa, so you want to hear that? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> Like, whoa, dog, what's the fuck wrong with you? Bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? What are you <laughs> doing right now? Vic, Should we like, call I this. Nah, nah, but it's so definitely bumping hairs the most. Oh shit! Phil Jackson, Phil Jackson. Oh, that's Phil. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely it's Kobe, dog. It's Kobe. That's Kobe. Kobe. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> like like if something's not yeah. going wrong, she taking the bar and shooting everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our crew is here, and they know too. Like, like they're just like, it's like the, no, no, Josh no, no, no. and Josh and Maximo. Josh and Maximo. Yeah. yeah. I was they getting bitched out too? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody getting hey, bitched out. I see out. them in the parking lot. They couldn't they couldn't move to let it get out the car. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> this is the president right here. They had, they, they had the camera and all that. She's like, you gotta get my shot right. <laughs> But when we're millionaires, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's Ooh. gonna mean something. Yeah, that's nice. Nah, I yeah. like that talk. Nah, yeah. nah, but there's a lot of shit I picked up on for like my podcast with with the Shalekti put me on like, hey fool, you gotta maybe do it this way or this way and shit like that. But it's the same thing with AD. When I asked him for the Twitch shit, he sent me a whole list. When I asked mm-hmm. for the podcast shit, Letty sent me her Amazon list. So you know, it's it's like I'm ain't no I'm, hate over yeah, there. I'm no generally, hate, bro, no I'm, generally I'm generally yeah. blessed to have both. So that's when people that's, that's when people be like. Oh, you, I'm like, fool, like, generally, I have a really dope relationship with all four of them. I like, think it's dope because, like, when that whole Tiger stuff was going on, like, people were talking about, you know, us choosing sides and all this stuff. And I'm like, man, I think it's so dope that I feel like, and I'm sure you guys feel the same way, we're a bridge to the black community. Yeah. You know Real what I'm shit. saying? Like, we are, we've been, but we wasn't even on purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like he said, he comes on, him being on this podcast is a big deal. You know what I'm saying? When people outside of LA look at it like, oh, that's that's cool. You no, guys allow no, that? You know what I'm saying? See, people don't understand. Like, when I meet a lot of fans now, they always, no, they always go like, damn, that's dope that you, for you. like, I don't think, it's, it's probably weird to other people, but like, I don't think they've ever seen for two black people in the Mexican have a conversation I for think about it like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, bro, but two Latinos, especially outside of California, yeah. they're like, damn, you sit there and, yeah. and clown and talk shit and we throw racist jokes. I'm like, yeah, fool, because my fool's my brother's dick, yeah. like my real life homies, fool. Like, and they be like, damn, that's crazy. I didn't think about it like that. I'm like, yeah, fool, like it's like, bro, when I went to Arizona, people be like, bro, she you started ain't said the B word one time. They're like, they're like, fool, we started watching no jumpers. Jesus they're, like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, they're like, they're like, they're like fucking, <laughs> fucking for that. They started watching no jumper because I'm out here like fucking around with Sean. I'm like, hell yeah. So that's yeah. dope. So and so all the fans I watch. Both no jumper and brown bag, and they be Facts. supporting both ways. Watch ways. everything, man. And oh, they God. can't even bring up crazy topics like that Brittany Renner shit. You know, when she threw that you know water in that guy face. You messy. He, he, he. That's how all y'all, he do. He's on today. Huh? I love Brittany Renner. Yeah. How y'all feel girl. about that brown bag? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gonna look, like, hey, he's trying to sabotage. Hold up. <laughs> look, he's trying to sabotage. How did it start? You I might seen, not want to use seen. that restroom. Black Channel said that motherfucker was dirty, but it's that way. Hey, look, shout out Cali. Yeah, Brittany Renner, Brittany Renner. Oh yeah, you see, hey, oh, Brittany Renner. He's hey, starting to blush. I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, he's gonna move next to her. He's over there, uh-huh. bro. Uh-huh. Brittany Renner, uh-huh. take my life. Uh-huh. <laughs> Brittany Renner's a homegirl, bro. She's a Dang. homegirl. Was she, I fuck what, with her. Was she in the wrong or was she in the right? Part of the situation. I think what, she was what? in the right. I think she was in the right. I, I feel like it's weird, like to even have that much type of energy, like that aggressive energy towards a woman is crazy to me. I think she was in the wrong. She shouldn't right. have did that shit. She shouldn't have climbed up there and got on that man's face. You know what I'm mm. saying? And provoked that shit. She, I just she like, was in a professional environment and she was working. Yeah. She true, shouldn't have did true, that true. shit. I just, I don't believe in having that type, type of aggression towards women. Look at to me, that's crazy. 
Mm, TRL, let me argue with you real quick. Look at it. <laughs> yeah. I argue. Go ahead. Let yeah. me see your take on it. But I don't know the situation. <laughs> give it back to <laughs> give it back to But me. I can tell you just like on a on a a lot of times guys know how to trigger us, but then also know how to only talk about our reaction to being triggered. It's like we're not gonna talk about what got me to the crazy. We're just gonna talk about how crazy I'm acting. Mm. And that's unfair to women. Yeah, let the crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let the crazy. I, tell. <laughs> I mean, because I, <laughs> for their both praying for Jorge right yeah. now. Like, Jorge. But when we're millionaires? <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 See, no, you can't everything use that everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I beat my husband ass, but once we're millionaires. Yeah. Yeah. I don't so do that. I don't do that. He's a G2. I don't do that. Yeah, you going to shout him out. You just get mad at him. He's going Fuck your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he probably called you like, hey, fool, it's your, your tone, fool. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks everybody talks like that. You talk like that. <laughs> nah, hold it. Yeah. Oh, he don't? No. no. It's a little like what? Like proper? Very proper. Yeah. Oh, very proper. Oh, okay. What school did he go to? Rosemead, I think. Rosemead? Yeah. Oh, okay. But he, like him and Nip, they just rent, like they're very cerebral. Like these guys are in these business meetings for a reason because of the way they, like, they're able to communicate. So. Damn. So we don't all talk like that, fool. Like, we don't all talk like that. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it, though. Yeah. I love it. You know what I'm saying? It is definitely an accident. Um, but is your when, maid pretty? Uh, she's not my maid. That's um, my thing. Where's the nanny? Um, they're regular. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him in trouble. Let's turn yeah, it around. Do you hear what, what happened with. Would you smack? <laughs> yeah. Would you fuck your nanny? No. <laughs> yeah. That's what Arnold Schwarzenegger said before. <laughs> His kid, his kid ended up looking like him. Child, yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. He hit the nanny. Yeah. I ain't mad, Arnold. There, somewhere yeah, there's a Mexican <laughs> kid that looks exactly like Arnold. Yeah. Is he claiming him? Yeah, he's claiming him after years. He Damn. had him on in the tug, just paying off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's no hard to mic. Jose Jose Schwarzenegger. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you a millionaire, you're going to be able to talk crazy or what? Because it's like you holding back. You want to say some wild shit, but your chair over here, you like, you know, yeah, really gonna gonna be a let it go do what she really want to do. But I think big picture. Go ahead. Can use the restroom. I don't know where it is. You go out this door right here. They'll show you. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. She about, to go, out, she about to go sock a window. Can you help her, can you help her with the bathroom? <laughs> I'm tired of them. <laughs> All right, let's oh. get this shit cracking. Mom's is gone. <laughs> <laughs> so get big. Her, yeah, get her ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? Damn, bro. So, bro, how does it feel to be back since you got fired? <laughs> it feels good. It feels good. You know, especially because of what's led up to it. And it was about a year ago, like a year and a month. You know what I'm saying? To oh, oh, he up. counted. <laughs> yeah. yeah he, said, <laughs> he said show 39. Yeah. Like I'm, God, yeah. I'm going to keep he tabs. Like, Bitch, keep we at G. the L yeah. Ray. Keep it G. Keep it G. Shit on him. Yeah. When did you, what episode did you feel like this shit might not this last shit, and go left. This shit going the down. The first here. one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Um, hey, Gina's like, fuck you guys. I think, he, stole, I think, he stole Gina from me. I think, yeah, facts. I think, see? I think after like episode 20, I started getting nervous because I've been fired before multiple times, right? But like at regular jobs. Damn, so it was like those why. days. <laughs> different reasons, different yeah. reasons. So it was, I was like going in there like, damn, I hope I don't get fired today. You know what I'm saying? I hope after we, or like I get there and then everybody's like, hey, uh, so, but the day we got fired, I had no clue. Like, it was like, we had a dope ass podcast and they were like, Josh sat, sat us down and was like, yeah. So I was like, how do you think the, the show went? And he was like, it was good, but don't even worry about it, how it went. Like, he's like, got to sit down for a minute. I'm like, oh, okay. We'll get Here we fired. go. You know what I'm saying? Damn. But he was gracious enough and Adam too. Um, they gave us like two extra episodes, you know what I'm saying? To like, we already knew we were gonna get let go, but at least we got to like, I guess, go out on our own terms in a way. Like, we got to wrap it up because usually in this shit, like, it's I mean, over. It's over. Oh, before yeah, you know it, it. everybody fired after Vegas. It was about to be done for him. Oh uh, yeah, I went crazy. You usually don't get to say a goodbye, you know what I'm saying? So we got to say goodbye. Well, when that cool. shit was happening, I was telling Gina, I was like, you should have stuck with me. <laughs> I told you. Who who created the brown bag? Uh, initially it was Vic and Letty. Yeah, so it was like. We, me and Letty did an interview, and then she lost the file. And then after that, she was she like, back, she, call me, she was like, she no, called no, me no, like no, a week no, later. No, change the subject, change the subject. Dum, 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 yeah, dum, she, dum, she, dum, she, dum, she called me. She back, she back. She called me a week later, and she was like, hey, I'm so sorry I lost the footage. Do you want to do another show? 
And then I was like, cool. We did that show. It went way better than the first one. And then it was like, at the end of it, I was like, man, we should just do a podcast or something. Like, just threw it out there joking. And then like a week later, she called me. She's like, hey, what do you think? Should we do it? Like, are we serious? And I was like, hell yeah. And in my mind, I was like, that would be so fire. Like, I didn't think she would actually do it with me. So we did that. We shot a few pilots. We had talked to Duno, too. He was traveling a lot at the time. We were like, literally, we're like, I don't know if he's going to even be in town. You to know me, what I'm saying? The podcast was not going to have Duno. To me, I didn't yeah. believe Damn. it. Damn! Yeah. Because yeah. it, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, oh my God, we got to have Duno to have the, the views or whatever. To me, Duno was, I didn't know if he could be consistent. And he's everywhere. He's he's doing clubs in Arizona or in Texas. And I'm just like, I don't know that he'll be here. To this day, any anytime we're shooting, he's there. Like, he's the most reliable person. And Perfect. literally, I didn't believe it. I no, didn't trust it at all. No, that yeah. yeah. When I went to go, the, the first time I did his pod... That nigga did like 16 interviews yeah. back to back. Like niggas was literally, yeah. bro, switching out. You know I said, crazy? this shit crazy. Bro, that dad did no foreign drummer boy, these fools, and AD. Wow. And, and these fools come yeah. with like five fools. So that's the VR. No, but with the brown back, they did an interview and I was in Colorado. We, we dropped then, the whole then, show. Like, yeah. we, there's, there's a pilot on her channel. It's literally the Let the Invict show. And then, and and then I replied like this. Like, we're like, like in the hotel room in Colorado. I was doing a Corrido event. And I replied like this. And I was like, bro, I want to be part of it. And we shot three pilots, and then it's been there ever since. Can we talk about how irresponsible it was for you to be losing the footage to the first interview you had? Damn! That was, hey, that was God. That was God. Damn! That was God, because imagine it just would have happened. It would have dropped, and nothing would have came of it. It would have been a cool interview that we dropped, and then No, it was meant to be else. regardless. You know what I'm saying? I probably would have been like, this shit is tight. We finna run it back. Yeah. You feel um, me? That is true. Yeah. You did have that conversation with me. You're like... If we're going to do this, you have to be serious. And I'm like, I'm here. Do you guys have rules here? Like, you can't drink no. alcohol? I used to get drunk as fuck. Oh, okay. Nah, for sure, when I first came here, we was drinking every Cause episode. everyone's drinking water. I mean, because he doesn't, He's sober. Drink, he doesn't drink anymore. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, so and then we, Sorry. you know, we kind of respecting that. And then on top of that. Shut up. You fucking, you drink a little bit of Patron. You I mean, over there turned a little well, girl. Well, basically, I don't drink because <laughs> he, he ain't supplying it no more. Damn. <laughs> basically, that's we why I We would have brought the tequila if that was the case. Hey, AD would bring a bottle every day. I would see. He would bring it a bottle every day. It was going crazy. When like, I did your show, really I was going. drunk as fuck. Oh, yeah. When I did Mad Lately, oh, great show. man. That was a great episode. My first time coming here, I was lit. I'm like, this is lovely. I got some drink, nigga. Pour me shots. I'm no, like, but I, but I'm I, but like, I can't say... <laughs> Potting, doing anything with a sober mind is way better. Yeah. Because, no. like, you really be like, when you drunk, you don't be like, no, no what the we, fuck are we doing? You guys don't know. Well, I don't know. Cause First I, shot Letty is, is crazy. Oh, Bob. yeah. We just got drunk on Monday, like, celebrating the El Rey shit. How is drunk Letty? Wild. 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 Like, no filter, Wild. like, like, like want to fight? Want to fight? Or saying, or like, TMI. Wait, so we're like, Just know this. No, just, not hey, even that. Hey, like, just know this. Just know this. Letty has the best dark humor ever when she's drunk. Oh, yeah. What? Whoa. So dark. dark humor is. What's the dark humor? Like, it, it, Tell it, us a joke. He's stupid. No, no, no. <laughs> Shoot it on Adam, not me. Right. <laughs> Get us some tequila, Bronto. <laughs> Get us some tequila, tequila. <laughs> she'll say some like shit I never thought she'll be capable of thinking. I'm like, tell me something. She said. She That's said, wild. wait, what she was like about your pops one time? Out of the yard. Nah, she'll 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 get off and say some shit like that too. But like, she said some shit about like his dad one time. Like, I was like, damn. Oh yeah, she said some shit. I swear. Whoa. You don't remember? You don't remember? I say shit about. No, but that one was like he even she he said it. jokes on your dad. Most definitely. <laughs> Whoa, you come over here with talking about that mommy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, but I feel like everybody's mom clowns on their dad though at the same time. Yeah, my mom was always saying my dad was gay. She was like, your dad's gay. <laughs> <laughs> she used to tell me that. <laughs> your dad's gay. That's crazy. what do you even say to me? That? That's why your dad's gay. Oh. <laughs> what type of shit? <laughs> she was the joke. Yeah. Yo, mama cold. Was she laughing when she said it? I mean, I mean, my mom defense. You know, yeah. my dad did do her grind me so with a guy. Damn. No. Oh, you see, he was yeah, calling yeah. Nigga pops. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing gay about pops. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> that motherfucker. Wild. That motherfucker is different. Yeah, he is crazy. He got man. Shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, how'd you feel about that shit? Um. Fucking Vel getting mad at Flock about making the joke about his girl about fucking Vel cheating. Uh, 
like I, I, I am a real true Gemini because it's really always 50 50 with me. I always got one side and I got a, you know, I got a bad side. But I was like, damn, he should have. You ain't 50 50 with that shit, bro. I make jokes about you. Bullshit, all say shit. Yeah. And you got, you've never once told me. Bro, but, right. Ruben, but he don't, but him and that nigga don't joke. So Cub no. thought he was serious. You no, bro, but, bro, at bro, this, but at this point, you know how Flacco is. He's not, he's not new no more. Like, you know Flacco be saying crazy shit. So it's like. And you know, you we don't know how Bell girl is. She might believe any fucking thing. No, no, I believe that. But still, like, you don't know what the fuck. We all know how Flacco is now. Like, I tell everybody, like, whatever Flacco say, I don't listen to this shit. I'm like, all right, bro. Whatever the fuck you say, you feel me? He'll he'll say the wildest shit. It don't, wildest it, don't shit. it don't shock me no more. When he first came, I'm like, bro, don't be saying shit like that. Like now, <laughs> he might die tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, shit. But I, but Bell, he did 50, take 50. it. It was 50 50 because I don't know how his girl is. Some girls are more like, you know, not in tune with that type of shit. You feel me? For what do you think, Lady? Oh, okay. So like, let's we're, we're with millionaires. Fuck it. So let's with Jorge, and you're on the phone. I'm like. Oh, he's cheating on you. Are you automatically gonna think like it's serious? Yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> but like automatically. No, like, but even, Sharp, Sharp said the real shit let me no more. <laughs> Sharp said if your girl would even believe that, then that's on you. Wow. Then you don't got your bitch in check. Nope. Basically. <laughs> we don't say that B word. Wow, bro. I do. <laughs> <laughs> We don't got Look, no jar up here. We have this thing on our podcast. It's called CNR. It's it's essentially fuck Mary Kill, but we flipped it to some Latino shit. So Carna Sada, who would you invite to the cookout, right? Nino, who would be your godparent? Like someone that's like your OG, oh, right? Big, uh, and rival, who's who's someone you just like fuck, fuck it on site. If both of you individually had to CNR me, Vic, and Duno. What would what it are be? the categories again? So carne asada, or if you could do, we could do cookout. Who would you invite to the cookout? Hmm. Who would you have as your OG? Mm -hmm. And who would you have as your rival between us three? You my, my OG. He coming to the cookout. Yeah, fuck Vic. And fuck Vic. Yeah. <laughs> That's everybody's answer, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Mine's the same. <laughs> Stupid easy. She That's everybody's stable. answer. Yeah. This nigga, this the little homie. No, it's good. It's good. It's just like, but, but we, I, let, we fuck with you. We fuck with yeah, you. Yeah, facts. I mean, facts. I mean, yeah, we fuck with you. I mean, I like oh, having yeah, rivals. Y'all reversing with I, us. I like having rivals up. It's be one with Adam. Us two and Adam. Mm. They killing Adam. They. Kill. I would say. Let's say. No, nah, let's. Oh, go. house phone. No, no, Gina. What do Gina? For what do Gina? Because we know Gina more. All right, put Gina in me in here with us. Uh, Gina? Oh shit! Okay, um, um, that changes things. Let, so you want to yeah, go first? It's you better not kill Gina. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's rival. We don't do a kill. Yeah, it's rival. Oh, I thought we were killing right, people. Right, Gina, Vic. <laughs> we're killing Vic. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> See you, Vic. <laughs> um, so Gina for sure. Uh, cookout, carne asada, for sure. That's the home girl. Hella, hella cool. Um. I would say T Rail Rival. Get nervous. No, I would say T Rail. <laughs> he grabbed my leg. No. I'm over here, like, my heart be like, the nigga don't you like that. You did, bitch. <laughs> bow, bow. I was like, you don't know, AD, AD is an OG. Like, he's been, like, he's been tapped in since the beginning. We booked them shows, oh, okay, like, a okay, long okay. time ago. No, I he rival. Old, he, old, he way older than me, though. Right, rival. <laughs> Shit. Rival. I gotta say T Rail. Because I think you're a great rival to have. Because don't even break it down. No, no, I'm true. <laughs> it's the truth. Don't break it down. It's the truth. Wait, look, 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 look. look. <laughs> because, because bro is bro is viral. Bro is gonna speak his opinion, and that's only gonna do good for my career. So you feel oh, me? It's true. You feel me? If we go back and forth. You. Exactly. I like exactly. That. Mine's I like easy. That. You go. Like no, it's Juno's turn. You said it was easy. Mine's no? easy. Go ahead. Let him he's, do it. He's gonna rival with Gina. Definitely in the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I've seen Gina drunk. Ah! She, had wow, 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 wow. she had the Patron so, on her head on so the show. This, yeah. <laughs> so it's definitely going to be T Rail OG, fucking AD Cook on Gina Ryder. Wow. Because AD. No, the OG is the top one. That's No, nah, I won't go to the cookout. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he want to go home. You know what I'm saying? Eat and yeah. go home. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Go, Letty. I'm never going to rival Gina. So Gina's going to be oh, the Because it's the one. It's the woman. No, no, no. <laughs> you can kill the woman. Who you can kill it. Who you can kill it. The woman. So what's Gina? Gina's cookout? Gina's carne asada for right. sure. You're my rival. Ah, oh, come I on. I knew it. Oh, 
Yes, bro. Man. Be my new <laughs> they love me. <laughs> Ride with me, you love me. Yeah. That's it. It's all good. It's, it's all passion. Good. It's passion. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay for your Martin. Yeah, all right, bro. It's all good. You're my Tia. You're my Tia. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> my tia, That's funny. Fool. Oh, y'all I niggas crazy. Yeah. That shit is crazy as fuck. Now, kind of something to really do be putting motherfuckers in yeah. situations yeah. like shit. Because we've done it with some people. We be I like, thought you going to say fuck Mary Kill. I was like, I'm playing, playing this game with y'all. I'm cool. <laughs> I ain't about to play. Fuck Mary Kill is crazy. Fuck. Fuck Mary Kill. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be wrong either it's just, way. It's just playing. It's just it's just jokes. Adam's like this. <laughs> the clips, the clips is on the way. You gotta answer first. Yeah, I'm not zero. fucking nobody. <laughs> Yo, at the so table. So who are you marrying? That's it. Damn, I got to marry one of these niggas. Just Damn. pick one. It's cool. I'm killing Vic. Who are you marrying? I'm killing Vic and Lefty for sure. You're on, you're on my side. I'm saying, I'm going to marry, I'm going to marry AD. What? Man. How are you going to marry me? I'm not even in the fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm not even in the shit. Oh, oh, what the fuck with you? It was you three. I'm no, not, I'm it not, was y'all. No, no, he said T-Rex, Black Mary Kill. No, I want to stand around. Oh, man. I want to stand around. Bro, don't the race. touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> I want to be don't black or black. <laughs> That's like crazy, you know. dog. Oh shit! Hey, when y'all was talking to Andrew and he was, y'all was saying some pause shit. He was like, <laughs> and he was like. He was like, damn, could you imagine getting fucked from the back from a nigga? That's crazy. He was like, no, no, no. He was like, imagine looking a nigga in the eyes. <laughs> no, what? that's crazy. And I, was, and I was looking, I was like, that is the ballsy shit. <laughs> it sat with me so crazy. I was like, that, that or you want to marry me? Oh, Can't look at you the same anymore. That shit is crap. Bruh, nah, that's why I, I just fucking marry you, man. Go ahead. Oh, my God. <laughs> I cheat on you, man. You said I'll cheat on you? (laughs) Go back to my bitch, man. (laughs) So what about you, Vic? Us three. What? No, I'm not playing. I'm not playing that. I'm killing everybody. Put it that way. Damn, bro. He went married. Yeah. I'm going to kill myself so I got to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Real wow, man. He ain't getting that out of me. <laughs> T-Rail said that in the clip, homie. That's yeah, wild. man. He go. Adam going to be like, T-Rail wants to marry <laughs> AD. <laughs> AD. <laughs> hey, what? Well, All right, before, go, Dino. Hey, he ain't going. I wanted to ask y'all before we go. Did y'all see that clip of that girl in Houston shooting... Like that on a road rage, shoot getting out the doom, car. Doom. And the Mexican shooting. girl? Bro, she happened. How you know she was Mexican? I mean, Houston. she had the BBL. And Houston. Houston. Come on. Look We're at this. We're in Houston. Look at this. It's Houston. <laughs> Grab the mic. Honestly, on fuss again. You see? <laughs> Honestly, it looked a lot like our homegirl, Yaya. Didn't it look like it? It did look like Yaya. It did look like Yaya. She did have ass, though. That's yeah. all niggas was looking at. Look, that's What's all niggas was looking at. They was like, Yo. damn, she was popping that you shit know with ass. From Houston? Joe. Oh. Bro, some girl showed up to my birthday party with a Glock and a BBL, and that made me like I was. I haven't texted her back since. What type what? of party y'all got going? It was. It was, it was his it party. Was supposed to be a cool party, but she showed up with the blicky because she heard all the girls was gonna be there. Wow. But yes, you was fucking with her. Yeah. Damn. But that watching Big that like watching, the BBLs, y'all. Yeah, facts. Watching that clip made me like I don't want to text her back. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that's just because it comes with it. It's like yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, do you fuck with surgery, Letty? I don't mind it for people. I would do it. You would do it? Yeah. Like, what would you get? I I get clowned on my butt a lot growing up. I don't have a booty. Oh, but that's fucked that's up. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> God <laughs> bless me in other <laughs> ways. <laughs> God yeah, bless we can't even ways. talk about no shit like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Honor's ears are perking up right yeah. now. He's about to drive over here. but I was about yeah. to say, like, these niggas ain't clowning yeah. your ass or no shit like no. that. That's crazy. It's yeah. gross to them. I'm literally, like, it's it's like. Yeah, she be saying some wild shit sometimes. I'll be like, oh, my God. Nah, that like shit what? sound crazy. She just says, you know, she's a girl, so you know, girls, motherfucker, when we say some wild shit, they say some wild shit too. But you know, it's different. Yeah, it's kind of like, I'll be, be messy. If it's kind of like, I've heard Gina say some wild shit before, and I'll be like, hmm? Like what? <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be like hey, oh, shit, I don't know. Is it all the exes that you make S's or just for Mexicans? 
Say that again. <laughs> is it all X's? Because you're saying Texas, right? But when you say Mexican, you, you say Mex- me- it's music. just Mexican. I mean, that's how I grew up saying it. Oh. Do you want me to say Mexican? He don't know how to read. <laughs> Yeah. Say, I mean, say I mean she want to be Mexican? There's a, yeah. I say Mexican. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, stupid. I got a little slang with my shit. It's all right. Okay. Swag with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all want to talk all proper and shit. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, proper ass here. Yeah, proper ass motherfuckers. Fuck it. What's the first Spanish word you learned? Puto. <laughs> you too? Payaso. And then uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Who called you a puto? Uh, nobody called me. I just wanted to see how you say bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so not bitch. You, it's not. No, no, puto means like like gay food. Like yeah. oh, you're gay. Like you want to marry it mean bitch. Me. No, no. Bi- it means like gay bitch. Like gay <laughs> bitch. Yeah. To madre. So that if means, I say puto, that mean you gay? No, it just like context. Use yeah. it in a sentence. Real it's quick. also different in Spanish. Like it's it's hard to explain. Like it's kind of like it's kind of like culero. Culero means more like ooh, that one's a little more bad. Yeah. Well, even like. Puto got banned in soccer games, so we're very passionate about soccer, right? And a lot of times the audience calls out to the players and oh, so says things like that, right? Okay, so but if they say like that. that word, they it's really it. it's it's homophobic, yeah. and they uh, banned it. Yeah, so so, so what do y'all say, Mayate? When do we say? <laughs> do you know that it's actually a bug out in? It is? Yep, For there's so a bug that be- Beatles. Yeah, Beatles. So. Is it black? Mm-hmm. It's like green and blue. <laughs> It's the, it's the it's the big old June bug. It's a big old June bug. I'm trying to see if the beetle is black. We're going to stop it. It's a green and blue beetle. We, yeah, I mean. It's hey. like the, you know how there's June bugs and there's like a green and blue one that's like nah, a two colors? Nah, we got cockroaches. They're out crazy. here, bro. <laughs> They're out here. So we we tie them on the string and they're like our oh, little Oh, yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah. Yeah, 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 So yeah. that's that. Who yeah. was the first person that thought about that? Like, let me tie this little nigga. Probably an Aztec. Shit crazy. Probably. Yeah. yeah, but the first time I did it, I was hella young. Dami was like, tie your foot and then let it fly. And then you ate it, huh? I didn't eat the shit. <laughs> hey, was y'all ever worried about his weight? <laughs> Most stupid mother. I'm just saying. Oh, baby was like, dude, no. you're going to die, son. I wasn't, but like one time, Callie was like, hey, bro, we should tell, talk to him. And I was like, what? Whoa. But like, but. Oh, Callie, I didn't know this pussy. Yeah. Yeah. But, but he did it on his own. No he did it on his own. You. It's because Callie knows more of the day to day shit. So he's like, bro, we got to talk to him. And I'm like, for real? And then, like, and I don't know. Callie, what made you say that? Like, was he out of breath? <laughs> or like. Cause like eat too much. Like, it was kind of hey, like, hey, like it was kind of like it was kind of that nigga had a disgusting. He had a book. He had a book to uh, plane seats for him. He said, "You <laughs> can't be doing this." <laughs> he said, "We need to talk to him." <laughs> I want to hear low bro pressure, motherfucker. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> your right side don't work. We was concerned the minute you walked in this bitch. Hey, my shit back. <laughs> my shit normal now. I'm cold. No, because he, he did say he had the book to plane seats at one time. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> say that, cuz. I know. I said. I'm not to do that. It's over. Yeah. No. I never said that. No. I said. No. I, cause I, your I mom. Your, and you said your mom said she, you, she like she think you should book like two seats. Mama. No. I never said that. You a lying ass piece. You of did. Seat. So what you say? No. I said. You rode on a plane. Rode on a plane. What you mean? This is road. <laughs> Man, man, man. Stop face. making fun of Duno. I don't want to see you pass out on the plate because Tiger passed out, bitch. You, oh, I'm going to pass out with my daddy. Yeah. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, wait, where's the jar? Where's the jar? Yeah. You don't let him $2. No. Ah, well, delicious. I just thought, like, as Duno's going to see for himself what his habits are, you know? And thankfully, he did. He's like, I want to change. No one no, made no, him. Yeah, no one no. made him. He's very aware. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean I'm like a mom. Like the any way he looks, I'm gonna love him. He wanted to change. <laughs> Damn, he wanted to change, dog. Yeah, fuck you. No, <laughs> you wanted to change after you almost your ass. Hey, bro. bro. So what was the problem? But like, was did, did he grab your? <laughs> did he grab your this food? This is not fun anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you was, like smoked the big and you was like, you know what? Hey, big. He wanted to chill. You, you got to do it with me, bro, because this shit is getting out of hand, fool. That fool just stole some shit. <laughs> what did he say? That nigga just stole some food, bro. <laughs> that shit is getting crazy. <laughs> like, said, we we, we, we could have got arrested, bro. <laughs> I didn't even know that. No, what was the bitch. problem? Was he, look, oh. Hey, Kelly, what was it? Tell the truth. <laughs> oh, well, 
Well, that's why you actually decided to like. You know what? You decided to lose weight. You like you. I can't fit this shit. Cause no, I think you doing your thing though. Facts, facts. Everything. Forty pounds down. Forty two now. Mm. Motherfucker, right, I took go. myself earlier today. Yes, sir. Yep. But yeah, that's a vibe. Yeah. Now, nah, but most definitely, for our, I was like, damn, this is the biggest I've ever been. I just thought I was in weight. And I did. I haven't drank soda in forever. Yeah. No chill, you feel me? Just water and... When you go back to soda, you, it's going to be too sugary, bro. Man, I tried that shit the other day. I don't day like that when, shit no more. Yeah. I tried that shit the other day when I was drunk. I threw it right after, no cap. What? Yeah, bro, I was drunk already, and there was no more change. The club was about to close, and they didn't want to bring it. That liquor put weight on you, too, though. And then I was like, ooh. I'm forever drinking a Sprite. I don't give a fuck what. Yeah, you don't eat nothing. About. I mean... Plus, you can't get weight from one side. Y'all live to Look, y'all live to eat. <laughs> I eat to live. That shit was weak as fuck. <laughs> Y'all niggas stupid. That's why. <laughs> Y'all niggas want to end this shit because I don't give a fuck. Hey, man, shout out the brown bag. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They got the sold out show at the L. Ray Friday, Friday, right? yep. Friday, man. We'll be in, the, in, the, in attendance. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Maybe. <laughs> nah, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. You're like half salvi, I swear to God, the way you I have. told y'all. Hey. I, I told y'all. Nah, bro, Letty, he's definitely like, bro. Nah, bro, bro you gotta interview Letty. Yeah. That shit finna go crazy. I can't wait yeah. for that shit. I'm gonna have 200,000 questions, too. No. I got them already. And they're all trick questions. They're all loaded questions. They're no, all they not. Yeah. No, they not, man. Well, some of them. Yeah. He messy. Yeah, yeah. Like a motherfucker. Yeah. All right, y'all. We got each other. All right, we gone. That was a good one, dumb bitch. That was good. That was funny.